welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Boing! It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. This is a job for a manager. Simple but satisfying. A manager is always prepared. A manager is always prepared. Wake up now! Ouch! Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Nothing like little man type stuff. It's a short slide from manager to... Well, not manager. This is a job. Hello, Lena. <clears throat> How is it going? This is a job for. Um, I am surprised. Well, I'm not surprised that you posted something cat related as your first message of the stream. However, I am surprised that you used the little cat emoji thing. I guess you felt like, uh, you know, spicing it up a little bit today. 
Me personally, I like to splice it up, if you know what I mean. You know that Spongebob meme where it's like... I don't like pistachio. Then why did you ask for it? You're like... I'm, lo I'm losing my sanity in Pokemon Unite. Then why are you playing it? That's me right now. Full real. I don't even know where your Pokemon Unite obsession came from. Welcome Feels like it happened out of nowhere. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. <laughs> I think that's a sign that you got too into it. This is a job for a manager. A manager is always prepared. Nothing like a little man type stuff. Maybe you should get... I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe you should just get back into Genshin, bro. I was actually... I was actually really wanting to play movie, uh, the day at, like... Because I got found when I was sleeping. When I woke up, I wasn't going to stream, but I really wanted to, like, literally just for for the throwing through time save, because, you know, it, it makes it two seconds easier to PB. I won't save the two seconds every single time I get there, but I... It is something that I can surely get a majority of the time, which is, you know... Have you gotten bored of Overwatch? Anyway, hello, iPi. How is it going today? How are things? How is your life? How is your mum? Well, I know how your mum's doing. How are you doing? Nice. Um, yeah. I spent a lot of time yesterday, actually. Well, I recorded a video last night. But today, I made a I After practice, I made a big reroute for NMG. So I haven't had any free time today. <laughs> I literally... <laughs> what did I do? I got out of bed, put my clothes on, had chippy Saturday, brushed my teeth, practiced, and then did the reroute. And then, literally, I tried to take a shit for like five minutes, and nothing came out, and then I started stream. Is that what happened? Hey. I'm a little skeptical that I timed everything properly for the reroute, but... Assuming I did time everything properly, or, or it's only barely off... From now on, NMG is not going to have BBBH backwards, which was the amazing thing that defined the category for years. The amazing reroute, and now it's gone. Mm. 
Having your birthday in June is like ultra PogChamp Keanu Reeves. Because like it's it's like good weather and like G good weather, so, and, you know, so you can really do anything you want for your birthday, because it's probably not gonna rain. And then, like, it's nice outside, and the sun is a natural antidepressant. And so on. Eh, why did they have to have gay month <laughs> on my birthday? Where? Um, yeah, I pie. so, basically... Rubber dub skip slaughter the manlies in that category. So so here's here's the numbers, right? Here's the numbers. Here are the facts. Well, these are estimations, but still, here are probably roughly the correct facts, kind of sort of. BBB BBBH forwards. BBBH forwards saves like uh, loses like 45 seconds. And, but then the plank lag clips save, like, 35 seconds. Oh, well, the route still loses, like, 10 seconds, then. So what are you on about in a brev? I'll tell you what I'm on about in a brev. Um, we had to get an extra stack in SCDA to make the manlies work. And this stack takes about 9.5 seconds. Oh, well, BBBH backwards then still saves half a second. No, it doesn't, because if you want to solidify the, the, the manly route to not be horrible with BBBH backwards, you need to get weenie stack, and weenie stack costs over a second. So when you add that to SCDA stack, it now adds up to like 11 seconds, and therefore BBBH backwards loses like a second. And yeah, that's all she wrote. No. So it, it's only fast because uh, you can you don't have to get like manlies now. It also, um, even with Weenie Stack, you can still potentially not have enough Manlies in Nado Men anyway. If you get really bad luck or accidentally miss a stack or something. So, this route is future-proof because any early game strats that get found now that skip Manlies are not a problem anymore. Uh, we will have plenty of Manlies. We can even skip more stacks and save frames that way too. However, the now NMG has lost uh, quite a bit of its identity. There will only be like three potential ways in which BBBH backwards can come back. Number one, if we switch to hard drive. Number two, if we find some manly duplication glitch or something before now there were men. And number three, if I somehow timed it really wrong. But I don't think any of those are likely. Well, the only categories now with BBBH backwards are AWT, which I, uh, nobody likes, and uh, all tokens, and all tokens sucks, but now I no longer want all tokens to be on extensions because now it has BBBH backwards. Which actually is a unique thing, so... Hooray, all tokens is not a completely pointless... Worthless category, with no qualities. It has, like, one quality. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> 100% best cat. No, I think the best cat is, uh... Stewie. Or Pickles. Oh my god, hello card and brev. I literally couldn't be asked. Also, I, I don't like I don't like um, doing a sub goal after taking like a day or two off like prior because then I can't say every stream like oh I'm doing this on Saturday, 
and like I didn't even know what to do. And I I've been doing sub goals for like six weeks or something straight, and I just you know I just wanted to chill, especially because I want a throwing fruit gold. Um, I don't know what to make the next sub goal, but I would make it BFB rando probably if I could you know. On the 23rd, I am going to do Rehydrated still, so be there, or be square. Um, maybe Robotic Revenge 100%, but, like, dude, that'd be such agony. That'd actually be agony. Oh, NMG would definitely get ranked lower from this route. But NMG all extras would get bumped up. A, a big downside of NMG All Extras is that it couldn't do BBBH backwards, but now that the main route shouldn't do it anyway, you can't use it as a negative anymore. So it literally doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope you have any fantastic day, Cotton. Thank you for... That was close. Thank you for the good luck. Uh, now you may be saying, Purple, are you really going to, like, continue bad runs just for BBBH throwing through golds? And my answer to that is a big fat yes. So, uh, expect more runs today to actually get somewhere. Hello, Peppa. How are you doing? I don't know what that first message is. Unless it's supposed to be balls or something, I don't know. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. Hello, Wilcon. How you doing? I uh, take these numbers, by the way. Um, I <laughs> I was timing something, and uh, I just chucked it in Twitch chat because I just needed somewhere quickly to put it while I was calculating shit. So, uh, take those numbers. A rolling farm gathers no Me when new challenge. Challenge these nuts. Oh, by the way, my life's been very eventful the past couple days, bro, right? Um, if I could remember what made my life so incredible the last few days. So, well, there was a massive spider in my room last night. I had the feeling that there was a spider. Like, I just had, like, the goosebumps for it. Looked around for a little bit, couldn't find one. Then played Plants vs. Zombies 2 for, like, ten minutes. And then I looked to the right, and it was a massive, very, very big spider. Now, I associate uh, PVZ Wild West to with big spiders. So now I have PTSD. Um, I also have PTSD. The last time there was a big spider in here, I was watching uh, a YouTube short of uh, AI presidents. Uh, and the background footage was Minecraft parkour. So Minecraft parkour gives me PTSD now as well. Um, I also have... Uh, Dude, what else did I- I, I did- I did some cool stuff on my days off, and I actually can't remember them now. Well, I made two- two channel videos, S Pipple SRC. I made, um, analyzing platforming ILs, and, um, I forgot what the other one was, but you should go watch those. They're very cool and interesting, you should go watch them. Lots of content, and I have another video in mind. That I will probably be making tonight or tomorrow. Uh, and it'll be called, uh, No Major Glitches, uh, Routing History. I want to make a video about the routing history of the category. Since it's been shaken up so much. Spidey Senses. Yo mama. How's it going, Jake? Jake Paul. 
favorite Minecraft parkour video. I don't fucking know. They're all the same. Well, the Ben are the only spot. Well, spiders in games are like fine. Except one time, right? I was playing Minecraft. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was doing Minecraft. Okay, well, I'll get to that in a minute. That was what I was doing on my days off. Anyway, I was playing Minecraft with the boys. You know how it is. I, the, I was in an abandoned mine shaft, right? And I was looking. I could hear cave spiders, but I couldn't see them, right? And I looked up, and they were like w literally one block above me. They were like three cave spider spawners. Uh, not spawners, cave spiders directly on top of me, and I fucking actually shrieked. This is in 2019. And I, I want to play Minecraft multiplayer again, but, like, everybody stops after, like, a few days, so it's just, like, bruh. Like a boss. Oh, yeah, TSSM's greatest runs. I forgot about that. I wanted to make that, like, a series in case, like, there were ever any other, like, really good runs in future. So that's why I called it TSSM's Greatest Runs. Um... That video was cool because it was basically asking, like, which run is the best. And I came to the conclusion that it was one of three times. It was either Cole's 138, my 129, or... My all extras 111. Cole's played the closest to some of best. And, and it was way ahead of his time. My 129 has a lot of history to it and solidified me as like the best player in all that. And it, it did a lot for the game back then. And the game was harder at that point. And the 111 is the least cared about of the three by like general audiences. But the run just in relative to the difficulty just is the best. So, th there's a case for all three runs. And I still flip-flop about, like, which one is actually the best of the three. I had an urge to try Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, the final version, I believe, before uh, the Hunger Bar. Um... And, uh, I do, I, do, people are so nostalgia biased, that version is not good. You can't run, you can't, like, drag click. Like, there's nothing to do. Cows don't even drop, like, beef. Chickens don't drop chicken. You can't stack meat or bread or anything. It's fucking stupid. Fucking, there's like no mobs. There's no reason to go to the nether. There's no goal. But that's like apparently the reason why people like it. Because. Because there's no goal. Like when you do a Minecraft playthrough now, like structurally, as long as you're not a fucking speedrunner, you're going to do it the same way as everyone else. You're going to build that house and then you're going to get a bunch of resources. You're going to go to the nether, get blaze rods. Go back to the overworld. Go back to the overworld. Kill Enderman. Book it to the end. Kill the Ender Dragon. You win. Congrats. Back in the day, yeah, you'd build a house. You might go mining afterwards, but what do you do after that? Have you guys ever watched uh, Rooster Teeth's uh, Minecraft Let's Play? They apparently have 500 episodes, but I haven't watched any past like episode like 100 and something. Um... I, I used to watch them for, like, inspiration, you know, they, they were able to make good, they used to make, like, parkour maps and, like, things like that, but then I realized a lot of their creations only worked because they were playing with friends, which is why I wanted to, like, play with friends. Anyway, I was like, dude, why does anybody want to play this old version of Minecraft, right? Then, I found out that you can emulate Minecraft Xbox 360 and it plays perfectly and I was able to play the very first version of the game Minecraft on 360 and I was able to play that tutorial world, you know, the very first one I got I was smiling for like 30 minutes. I, I, it was so nostalgic because I, I didn't end. Okay, so Jam wanted to sell me uh, His 360 and it had Minecraft on it. It had that version of Minecraft on it But I didn't buy it because I was saving up for a gaming PC 
but I did play that demo a few times. And so that's... And then... And then it... That just kind of confirms to me that it is, like, nostalgia to, like, prefer that version of the game. You know? Anyway, after my tangent. Hello, Cooper. Um... I'm doing okay. Um, all I did was just practice and do some rerouting, so... I don't... You know, my day hasn't really even began, really. I, I've done 1.0 Hardcore before, but even that one had big issues. No drag clicking. And, um... Uh, if you wanted to do enchantments, you had to get to level 50. And unlike now, where you can use Lapis, it actually just eats up the 50 levels. So it takes an actual fucking eternity to get to level 50. And even when you do, you just get Bane of Arthropods or something, and then you want to fucking die. The enchantment system is honestly probably too overpowered now. But I kind of prefer it over... I kind of prefer the enchantment system now over how it was before, at least. Even though it's too overpowered. Yeah. I remember watching uh, Syndicate's video of Minecraft 360. He was able to play the game a couple days before it actually came out. And dude, that happened like eleven years ago. I, I watched I watched that video. I think it might have been a live stream. I watched it eleven years ago. Like, d where did I think I'd be eleven years from now? Who knows, bro? If you're gonna play old versions of Minecraft, I definitely think it's better to do it on like 360 and PS3 because they're on console. It's more so justified. And they were older for longer because they were making updates like, you know, but they were up, uh, they were just doing updates that console already had and doing them slowly. Or, uh, Java already had and slowly. The 360 crafting is also good, yeah. All, all, one thing that is way better about Minecraft, by the way, old Minecraft is uh, the old music. It's a lot better. I, I never have the music on anymore, but the old music is really good. And I do see some people's points about some things being too OP. Netherite armor, elytras, you know, but... I, I, you know, I would take that if it means I can also run and drag click and stack food. Oh, yeah. I had to look up a lot of stuff before. Well, you're entitled to your own opinion, of course. Um, I don't really care for the mute for the, the new music, though. I like the old one. It's just that it always plays at anticlimactic times, like in the fucking Nether, and it's playing like super peaceful, calm music. I also kind of miss the old damage sounds because you just go ooh. Like, you just go, ooh. <sighs> There's still beta Minecraft 1.7.3 servers, by the way. I actually went on one yesterday, and it was kind of fun. I think, you know, old versions of Minecraft can be good if uh, you're playing with friends or something, or just on you know, a server. Otherwise, in a single-player world, what would I even do? I literally don't even know what I would do. You know? I try looking for survival island seeds, but they don't really exist because of how the terrain generation works.
I agree, iPie. The old launcher, like the really old launcher, did not let you do that, and I remember just being sad, you know, just, oh, I can't play these versions ever again. But now we can. Nearly every single version of the entire game ever is uh, playable. Nearly every version, anyway. So if you want to play specifically Minecraft Release 1.3.2, well, yeah, you can. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Isn't that great? I guess it was part of the wonder, Carden. I think people are less patient these days. They were spoiled, but that's that's okay, bro. I would just I would just look up everything. That being said, if if I knew, or I would use you know uh, too many items mod, which is, is now not enough items. I think it, that would tell you crafting recipes too. I remember making my first ever Minecraft world, but it was creative mode. I built, like, a huge, like, brick house, and it had, like, a railway system thing. And I didn't know that the spiders, uh, well, the mobs couldn't hurt me in creative, so I got really scared and punched the spider to death. Then on another world, I think it was on Peaceful, I made, um... What did I make? Uh, I made, like, some wooden house in the desert. Uh, but I don't remember it very well. My first proper world I actually dedicated a bit of time to was in a snow biome. I remember. I wish I still had the world. It was a snow biome, and it had two fl uh, my house had two floors. And to the left, I had, like, a section for me to go underground mining. And on the right, I had my mob grinder, and then right, and then in a little bit in front of the house, it was like a big, like, frozen lake thing. I deleted the will for punishment for, like, cheating a lot. I don't know, I, my jam told me how to, like, use cheats in Minecraft, and that was the beginning of me literally never beating the Ender Dragon without cheating. This run is already dead. LOL XD! I found one. Twenty twelve. I didn't play it until uh, I believe Christmas twenty sixteen. Was that when I had? Did I get Minecraft in twenty sixteen uh, or was it twenty fifteen? Nah, nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was twenty fifteen Christmas. Ah, Carden, my Minecraft Hardcore World from 2021. That'd be everything legit. That's why I have such sentimental value to that fucking... ...world. This time I did literally zero cheating.
I wanted to make, um... I wanted to make another world, but, I, dude, it's been taking so fucking long for 1.20 to come out. Like, articles, rumor, January, and it's fucking June and is not out yet. Yeah, I, I beat it legit on my hardcore world. Um, on January 1st, 2021, like, AM, I, you know, New Year's resolution was to play more casual games, so I did a Minecraft hardcore world. Then I didn't play it for a long time. My house was a tree house, but then I just turned it into a, just a huge, very tall house. But anyway... Then I did a survival island hardcore world, and I died. Then I went back to the original hardcore world in April or something. And then I actually beat the Ender Dragon, uh, killed the Wither, defeated the Elder Guardian. Yeah. I care about that world a lot. I think it was in 1.16. So I think it was before the Massive Cave Generation update. But yeah, no, there was a lot of cheating in all those other worlds, but I had a world which I had, like, literal, like, at least, like, a couple hundred hours in, and I deleted it for pun as punishment, but I shouldn't have done that. I made that world in, in Minecraft 1.5.2, and I remember I made it in a swamp biome. Life was so shrimple back then. I will admit that Minecraft is not the same anymore. But I don't really know what could be done to make it, like, feel like the way they used to. That sounds like it'd be pretty taxing. I feel like I'd get bored of that quite quickly. But it would make you a lot better at the game, and each playthrough would be at least a little different from the other ones, so... I guess there's that. Also, this is ahead now. I, I, I kind of half-jokingly said that the run's dead out of 3k, but this PvPH and Rub It Up 2 are really good, so... Literally brought it back. <laughs> Hello, Blue Foundation. How's your day been? Yesterday I turned 19. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, well, first of all, happy belated birthday. Second, I'm purple. Third, um, I've been decent today. You know, my day hasn't really started yet. You know, I've been quite busy today, um, doing movie stuff. And finally, I hope you are having a good day. Yeah, Cotton, that's a good idea. I kind of wanted to try, um... 
I, I, I wanted to try something that Syndicate was talking about, about like a forever ago. I forget what the challenge was called, but basically, like, you never, you never really, like, make a base and, like, stay there for ages. You just keep moving. You just keep, like, shmoving. And then you beat the Ender Dragon that way. So it's, like, a half speed run. That challenge sounded pretty interesting. You can, like, very, very quickly just make something to guarantee you can sleep in it. But that's, you know, you're supposed to be on the move, like, constantly, basically. And that sounds pretty interesting to me. Sup, bad boy. Um. Yeah, I mean. What? What? I don't. I don't even know the run's dead. I can't. I didn't. I didn't know how to react to that. Um. I think two is just like the most consistent. I think it's just the most consistently good one. Three has more, um, out there plots, I feel like. And one is still rough around the edges, so I feel like... Two's episode, uh, yeah, season two's episodes are so consistent to the point where some of them do kind of blend in with each other. And I think season three's best episodes are probably better than season two's best. But there are, like, basically no bad episodes in season two, really. So I, I feel like if I had to only watch one SpongeBob season for the rest of my life, I think I'd have to pick season two because it just has, like, a higher number of very good episodes, in my opinion. Uh, I think the season I grew up with the most was probably season three. Yeah, because I was born in 2001, so I'd probably... When I started forming memories, and they'd still be... Yeah, yeah, it'd probably season three I have the most nostalgia for. Um, my favorite season is, um, season seven. It, it is good, though, that we can have debates on, like, what is the best season, because there's multiple, like, really good ones. Um... Oh, yeah, I remember those DVDs. Yeah, it was just, like... It was obvious that one or two episodes would be on the DVD from, like, the, the cover, but then, like, the other ones would just be kind of loosely related. I remember that, yeah. Or it would just be, like, a section of a season. Um... Also, probably quite a number of dollars, Tara, because, like... Shit goes downhill after a while, and, um, an episode is 11 minutes, so they release, like, two episodes, like, kind of at once. Mm, probably, probably a lot of dollars. Break buy another capture card with that. Oh, yeah. Um, as for, like, you know, being able to debate, like, seasons and stuff, that's cool. Because I don't really see anybody debating, like, which Family Guy season is the best or whatever. <laughs> you know? B, do you see that with, like, Spongebob and, like, Simpsons? I think that shows to me that Spongebob and the Simpsons, uh... Like, if you take, like... 
SpongeBob Simpsons and Family Guy from like all of the golden ages, I do feel like, in my opinion. Family Guy's probably the worst of the three. To be fair, it is, you know, more rude and crude Simpsons. These days, sometimes the Simpsons even rips off Family Guy, which is kind of funny. But it was not like that back in the day. There's a South Park episode uh, called, like, Simpsons Did It or something, where Butters is trying to, like, think of, like, evil plots, but like, every time he tries to think of something, <laughs> his sidekick's always just like, Simpsons Did It. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, no worries. Everybody, thank you for stopping by and for the good luck. I appreciate it. Take care. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day. Who knows, Carden? Uh, let me think. I mean, we all know which uh, one. You know, the introduction. Two is uh, the one with Man Ray, I think. Three is. Oh, no, no, no. Two is the one with the dirty bubble. Three is the one with Man Ray. Why was the dirty bubble introduced before Man Ray? That's really weird. That does not feel... Yeah, no, it's definitely correct, but it doesn't sound correct. That's fucked. Uh, four, I think, is the one with uh, the Wumbo joke, where he, like, shrinks everybody. Five, I think, is the one where they shoot, where they do a movie, right? Maybe? And then I just don't know after that. Oh wait, no, no, no. Um, it's it's the one where Barnacle Boy uh, becomes evil, and then six is the one where they do a movie. I think. I might, I might be, I might be misremembering. <laughs> yeah, I believe that was three head boy, for sure. It, well, also, the Dirty Bubble is just such a whatever character. He, he's in, like, four episodes. And in one of them, it's just the one where Barnacle Boy turns evil, so he doesn't actually do anything. I, I, I like that joke in that Mimi Man and Barnacle Boy episode, by the way, where Barnacle Boy turns evil. I, I like the joke where they, <laughs> they they offer Mermaid Man ice cream and there's a fucking there's a bomb in the fucking ice cream. It's like that's evil, bro. Yeah, so when Barnacle Boy turns evil, and then you got like the Quickster and and uh, Captain Magma and shit. Apparently, in the modern episodes, there is a Dirty Bubble episode. Um... Where he becomes good, I think, because Spongebob cleans him and he's not dirty anymore. I think that's what happens. I know he cleans him, I assume he's good after that. I haven't seen the episode. Yeah, they start to blend when it's just, you know, one to like six. I wonder which Mimi Man and Barnacle Boy is my favorite. I do, I do really like five, but I, one is like so iconic because and and there's really good jokes about SpongeBob and Patrick trying to get into fucking Shady Shoals and um, fucking Mimi Man screaming about evil. That episode's so good. And it really sucks, because obviously, you know, they underutilized Mimi Man and Barnacle Boy in modern Spongebob, and then the voice actors died. And now you can't really do anything with them anymore. I would agree, Carden, but in my opinion, Season 3 has more mid and bad episodes. You know, like Great Snail Race and Party Pooper Pants. Whereas 2, I feel like just only has like a couple mid episodes.
I agree, Koopa. That would have been cool. Then again, those DVD sets are you, uh, I mean, those sets. Those, like, loose, uh, kind of, like, loose DVDs with just, like, a few episodes on them. They're kind of a, a little bit of a ripoff compared to buying entire seasons, but we still always got them as kids anyway, because, you know, fr from a parent's perspective, it's, oh, a bunch of SpongeBob episodes, except it's cheaper. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forget. Yeah, the Atomic Flounder. I would like to see an episode of the Atomic Flounder. I feel like that'd be really cool. I like that episode, Cotton. What's wrong with that episode? That was good. That episode's great because it's, they should just roll reversal and, the, and then Plankton realizes that Mr. Krabs' life actually isn't even that good. And probably probably the only thing getting Krabs through in his life is money. But Plankton doesn't care nearly as much about money. So he realizes, like, wow, Krabs' life actually kind of sucks. <laughs> good grief, he's naked. <laughs> How dare you mix up the episodes? I don't even- I mean, what did you confuse it with? Yeah, it was- uh, I, th I think, like, that was done on purpose to sh sort of, like, kind of exact- like, just show, like, what it's really like to work on the Krusty Krab when the characters are at their worst. You know? Goodbye, everybody. I'll remember you all in therapy. Remember that one? That was a good. That was a good joke. M. M. Lemon's video on uh, SpongeBob, where he shows that when you're a kid, you're SpongeBob, and when you're an adult, you're Squidward, and that's why there's such a why, why we have such a connection with the show. That kind of blew my mind. I was like, wow, that actually makes, like, so much sense. Nature Pants. Nah, Nature Pants is season one. Nature Pants is really weird because SpongeBob is just so out of character. He's literally just, like... I want to run in the wild, and it's like, okay, that's how the episode starts. However, that episode does have a banger joke, where Patrick's like, even Squidward misses you, and he's like fucking partying in his house. Now that joke is a banger. Oh, well, okay. Jinx. Jinx. Gonna kill something? I was a little and they didn't have bubblegum ice lollies. I've never had those, I don't think. Just get some, uh, Cornettos or something. Those are pretty bussin'. Ah, uh, I've had, like, Oreo ice cream sandwich thingies before. They're pretty good. I tried to not be fat, though, but it's, it's hard. I had a slushie today. Couldn't help myself, bro. I go to the dentist in, like, eight days. Trying to chill a little bit with the sugar. Me telling my bitch wife to make a sandwich. <laughs> Not asked for. Oh wait, no, I already said it was asked for. Braless wife makes me ice cream sandwich. Not asked for. And she's naked. Oh, I mean, no. She's not naked, she's braless. 
Okay, well, we might as well make her naked. Alright, so she's naked making ice cream sandwiches for me. Not asked for. Yeah, I like that one, too. I generally don't like fourth wall jokes and meta jokes that much, but when it's, like, very subtle and very rare, I like it. Basically. I hate when shows like Family Guy, they started, like... Uh, from season four onwards, they became aware that they were, like, in a show, and they always make jokes about it, and none of them are ever funny, ever. They'll literally just be a joke about, like... This is even worse than the time this happened, and then people, and then they're just like... And then they're just like, oh, I guess we don't have uh, a clip of that or whatever, or like... Oh, that was the wrong cutaway gag. But is she just, like, it's not funny? The only interesting thing they've ever done with it was when they made that episode of, like, Family Guy behind the scenes. And, and like, the whole bit was, like, Peter was getting kicked off the show. They, th because they actually did something with that, I actually don't mind that episode, but... Yeah, otherwise... I just hate whenever they mention it otherwise. It just really takes you out of it. Why should you care for the characters when even they know that they're in a show? And that they're actors? Like, why Why should you care about them? You know? Why do you care about, like, the, the family troubles or whatever? Like, why, like, why would you care? Oh, you, oh my god, I haven't needed Wagwan in forever. You should, like, perish. Maybe we should all have ice cream sandwiches. I am pretty warm today, but... The windows do not be open, bruv. You know what's, like, pretty popular, I think, at least in America, that isn't really very, like, it's not really done here, is, like, s'mores. We don't really, we don't really fuck with s'mores for some reason. I don't even think I've ever heard a British person say s'mores before, actually, now that I think about it. I think I might actually be the first British person I've heard to say s'mores. I wonder why. Swag ice cream on a stick thing. You mean an ice cream? <laughs> if it's ice cream on a stick, it's just ice cream. Ah, uh, I think so, Lena. I think that there might be some chocolate in there too, I'm not sure. I think we have chalk ice in the freezer, but I've been eating, uh, I, I hate the name of this, I hate the name of it, but we have knobbly bobblies in the freezer, and we have cornettos and, and strawberry sports. Fucking hate that name, dude. Nobbly Bobbly. Oh, no. But we do have... <laughs> I, I, do, we do, I do have lollies in my freezer. Make of that what you will.
that was scuff, but it works, I guess. Pork product. Was it cock shaped? Ah. Ah, that makes sense. It is so strange in the UK, it, it, it doesn't even take that much effort to, like, just find, like, the F slur, just, like, on a menu. It, it doesn't even, it's not even, just go, go to, like, half the chip shops in the country and they'll have those on the menu. I, I posted a meme in Pipcord, I think, that was of the dog, and I think it said something like... What do you mean it lasts a whole month? Or something. <laughs> Although, of, like, those dog memes, my favorite variation is, pa is Pack It Up Skittle Squad. Why, is, why does the name Skittle Squad go really hard? It's, like, the most badass name ever. A fucking dog. The owners must f just every time they see the dog now, they think of homophobia. The owners of that dog. As God intended. Wow, pack it up. Rainbow Patrol. <laughs> I like that one too. Uh, I I wouldn't have a flag up or else my parents would just be wouldn't probably wouldn't shut up about it. I it would be cool to have that so that people know that it's like LGBT friendly stream or whatever. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it. Creek. I just finished SD 102. I was going to get the shark cleaner. Because my parents were like, oh, after, after we go to this restaurant, we're going to go to Ikea. And I was like, all right, okay then. And then they were like, oh, yeah, we're not going to Ikea anymore. And I was like, okay, then. So, yeah. I'm not paying, like, four pound delivery. And we don't live anywhere near Ikea's, I think. So, uh, like a boss, like a boss, like a boss, like a boss. I'm thinking of the dog. <laughs> Not the right brand. Okay, I'll have a look now. D 
Dairy free. Cringe. You're gonna kill me? Uh oh, the page could not be found. Let's refresh. Uh oh, this page could not be found. Why did I split so goddamn early? Cotton, I think that ID, might, uh, that link might be specific to you. If you're not careful, bro, you might dox yourself like a boss. Hello, Red, how you doing? I do plan to throw fruity people around you. You're so true for that one. Uh, I guess just tell me, like, what to type in, and then you could just manually type it in. Dude, Walmart's, uh, layout does not look very good, I'm not gonna lie. I don't- I mean, I'm getting flashbanged over here. Okay, I'll have a look in a bit. That was close. It just isn't right. I wonder if anybody's gonna change one of my split names to, like, one of the homophobic dog memes for Pride Month. That'd be kind of funny. Although, the only splits I haven't been changed yet are the Navalman subsplits. Uh... Aw, oh, dude, it's being gay as fuck. If I try to copy the text, it works, but it won't- it only, if I try to drag it to the G in good, it just won't- it'll just- it just will freak out, so I need to, like, paste it and then go back and type G. Oh, we have, like, we- we have, like, this exact thing here. Yeah, we have that exact thing, like a boss. Oh yeah, I made a, a horrifying realization about this game yesterday, by the way, which is kind of obvious. So it's like slightly embarrassing to not notice, right? In Plank and Weenie, the skybox rotates. It, it moves around, it circles around. And I did not know that until last night. I'm not talking about, like, the flowers. I'm talking about, like, the actual skybox. Like, actually spins around. And I literally didn't notice until last night. I only noticed, I was trying to, like, do some some sort of text box storage with Mindy, and then I couldn't figure out anything with that. So I got a bit frustrated and flicked the camera up for a bit, and I noticed that the fucking thing was moving around. And I literally have just never noticed until last night. 
It was like, it was like 25 hours ago, uh, not 20, uh, like 13 hours ago, I realized. It wasn't even that long ago. Was forced to physically go back to my middle school just to figure out what the exact brand was. I think you'd be known as a creepy trespasser if you did that. I, I kind of wish I could go back to my primary school, though. Just, like, walk around and just, like, see what it was like once upon a time. You know what I mean? Because, like, I remember... Like, I bet you all the classrooms are, like, super small. And, like, all the chairs are small. And the cafeteria is probably small. It'd be pretty cool. But I can't, like, actually do that, really. I, I was gonna say in my server I was today years old, but then I was like, that's too corny. Oh yeah, practice went good, by the way. The only thing that was actually, like, pretty bad was guest jumps. So mayhaps this could PB, smiley face. But I am mostly just about getting one-on-ones and throwing through gold. My gold is, like, fucking godlike. And I've never- I just can't beat it for some- I've only gotten close, like, once. So even if I- do, like, I- even if I do it pretty well, I might only gold by, like, 1.5 or something. Not two seconds. But RTA, it'll be saving two seconds, and that's mostly what matters. But yeah, 49 throwing fruit now is gonna be, like, easy. If anything, 48 throwing fruit should be possible, I think. Oh, wait, no. Mm, 50.7 is my gold, but again, it's hard to beat. 49 should still be possible, I think. I don't know. I think it would take a really good throwing crew, but I'm not sure, like, entirely. This game is bad. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of, like, lag text box storage stuff I tried to figure out yesterday. Um, I did buffer inputs and then held R, and Spongebob got his guitar out instead of talking to Mindy. And it still said press R to talk to Mindy, so I did, and then it just cancelled my guitar, and that's all it did. And I, I literally can't replicate it. I tried for like five minutes, I literally, I can't replicate it. So it must be some like, extremely rare thing that happens. Not that it's really useful for anything, but... I did not know that card, and that's kind of funny. <laughs> well... I was just doing a little bit of text box storage in it. Silly Oomphy, you just found guitar early. If I found guitar early, like, should I just like hide it from everyone? <laughs> wow, that was a fat lag spike. It would like objectively make the game worse. I think I'd be pretty justified in just hiding it. Like, imagine if we found out that, like, PAL PS2 was, like, the fastest for NMG. Like, no fucking way that that should be revealed to the public, bro. I don't trust that. Yeah, no chance that would have worked. Hello, you absolute legends. 
We have been over many cheetahs in my day, but now we will be looking at, um, someone who cheated the speed game by not allowing it to develop. But first, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Have you ever wanted a wallet that feels like shit in your pocket because it's not a nice material? Nice feeling material? Well, have I got the wallet for you. Purchase these extremely overpriced wallets now. And use my code to make it go from incredibly overpriced to slightly overpriced. I think that was a... Uh, I should make, like, an April Fool's Kyle Jobs video next year. That'd be funny. And I can say this because you'll forget, like a boss. But then, I, but then I'll probably forget, too, like a boss. So, uh, yeah. Holy shit, dude. Dude, I made that with, like, as little height as possible, I feel like. That was, like, the most fucking sketchy fucking ledge grab ever. <laughs> Ah, oh, bro. Runs bad. Did someone say PR? Plankton's robotic. Anyway, howdy, latte. How you doing today? I was just talking about Carl Drops, and, um, yeah, that's basically it. Ouch. Maybe something like that could be useful, Carden, uh, the Spear Boost practice mod. However, you'd have to make it very specific. Additionally... I don't know if how high the thing shoots up is also... I don't know if it's, like, partially dependent on, like, its cycle. Because it moves, like, up and down, and I don't know, like, if it's, you know... If, like, that can slightly alter its height or not. I have no idea. But otherwise, if it doesn't, then I guess a practice mod there might be useful. But that is not the type of thing that could be made 100% consistent. That would just increase the consistency, which is still a good thing. I'm just saying it, it. You just wouldn't get like crazy, crazy results out of it. How about you try testing my mom? Plankton is you. Yeah. Hello, you absolute normies. Today, I'm going to teach you for the 70 billionth time that speedrunning is only about world records and cheating. But first, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. The epic online mobile game. It has hundreds of characters to unlock. It is very pay to it. Fuck, I meant, um, uh, very fun. The only sponsors I don't skip anymore are Cold One sponsors because they're really funny. <laughs> You should download Raid now. YouTuber voice. Oh my god, was it was it like the YouTube Shorts one where it's like this family in Washington Um We're just having a normal day. But then the craziest thing happened. 
They got struck by lightning. One thing I fucking hate is when the YouTube shorts people is when they say, you might think X, Y, Z, but you couldn't be further from the truth. They always say some sort of stupid variation of that. It's so cringe. How is the new fruit electric route? It's probably easier than the old one. It's hard to say because the second part of it is easier, but the third part of it is harder and uh, movement based. Like, there's an actual, like, cycle that you can miss if you're bad. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty easy two seconds compared to some other shit. Anyway, hello, Ryan. How is it going? Oh, and Stash as well. I literally, like, forgot to say hi to Stash because I'm so used to him posting Joel as, like, his first message. It was he just, like, didn't connect the dots. Uh, the YouTuber voice, essentially, Red. Kind of like the Burger King foot lettuce guy, but, like, unironically. Oh my god, when they loop the video, oh my god. Dude, they never even do a good job of it either, because... Like you can tell that they said the they said those two sentences separately, so they have like a one second pause and then it loops back to the beginning, which doesn't make any sense because it takes no effort to make the transition seamless uh, to make the loop seamless because all you do is just say the end of the sentence and the beginning of the sentence like back to back with with just no pause in between. That's literally all you do is not hard, but they all that most of them fuck it up and it's literally like how do you fuck it up? It's like the easiest thing in the world. You know, you don't have to say, and that's why, and then, this girl, uh, died. That, instead of saying those two sentences separately, you just say, and that's why this girl died, and then you can loop it. It's easy, but they, they never do it right. Thank you. Um, it's the melon explosion, Red. The explosion does the da uh, most of the damage. That, that would so be in, like, a movie, like, YouTube poop or something. And that is house. Oh, yeah. You know what my favorite thing to do in school was? Give examples, as many examples as I could think of, and then when I ran out of examples, just write etc. <laughs> I'd always do that. That's the goat strat. The Gold Knight community is kind of cringe anyway, Tara. They do, they like world record hold and shit like that is cringe. Like, holding in that community is like not only common, but like kind of, I mean, nobody like thinks badly of it like at all for some reason. If anything, it's seen as like a Giga Chad thing to do. And I don't know why. Also, we gotta get ready for throwing fruit. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Watch me, like, fuck up really bad somehow. <laughs> I don't trust that. Alright, let's do it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I saw your uh, posts about that a lot today. Now you can cook math. Like a mouse. And that's how it's done. Only goofy go that, okay, you know how I said earlier that I would, like, not save two seconds because my gold is extremely good and from, like, 2020 and I can't figure out how to beat it? I, s I made mistakes. I, I, that was not perfect. I definitely saw a couple parts where I bled a few frames here and there, and I still saved two seconds. So this strat might save even more than two seconds. It might just, the comparison might have just been bad uh, that I uploaded like the other day. Um, but yeah, that's two seconds. It's nice uh, that sub 50 is finally possible. Also, wow, that was a good push of the century if I've ever seen one. The third part is an easier IMO. Um, but, well, okay. Uh, if you make, like, a small mistake with with this new throwing fruit, it seems to lose less than if you made a mistake in the other one, and that still applies. Like, you can get that same cycle while grabbing the extra, or oh, it loops around. So, oh, oh yeah. Um, the th throwing fruit in, in all extras probably actually is harder now. And Hundo, because, um... What's it called? The cycles are, uh, is harsher than, uh, at the end than the one that I just got. Like, you actually do need to, like, actually play good. Dude, this Sunday's really good so far. Um, the, their excuse for, like, preferring N64 is because Japanese runners would have to, uh, mod their Wii because, uh, the Japanese Virtual Console version, uh, patches BLJs. Um, which is, like, very BS because who on this entire planet does not have a modded Wii? Also, um... I think also VC, like, very, very occasionally, like, drops inputs or something. But, like, you could just probably make a patch for it that prevents that from happening. We have the source code. You probably can just patch it. Um... And the other reason, I guess, is that you'd have to... If you want to play on N64 controller still, you'd have to buy an adapter. Except that is... That doesn't even compare to the costs of a fucking EverDrive. Or a Game Shark. So yeah, um, there's no good reasons to be on N64. Uh, oh yeah, um, the game is significantly harder on N64 and a lot more impressive because of lag, like la uh, crazy lag reduction shit. It isn't just a lag reduction; they always have to play with terrible camera angles, which is like Matt, you know, uh, that's very hard in itself. I was doing a lag reduction strat in Womps. Uh, 100 that only saved like a seventh of a second and I lost so many runs there specifically because of the camera angle that I was using but you know it still did it yeah I was looking for a fast throwing through Cardin for a while well, I say a while I put like 15 minutes of effort into trying to find one 
And I couldn't find one, but now we have one, so that's pretty burst. I figured if anybody could find one, it would be, like, Latte. I, I think that just goes to show, like, how bad of a strat hunter I am, <laughs> by the way. I, like, I already ch I tried, like, a few ideas and none of them worked, and then Latte just comes out of nowhere. It's just, like, two-second throwing through be like... What do you mean? Uh, when it comes to the politics. I, I like how speedrun politics are only slightly less AIDS than real world politics. They still feel just as toxic somehow. Oh. Um, well, there is a bit of a community divide about intro skip, but that's basically it. And even then, there's still uh, quite a noticeable majority for no intro skip. But probably like, a, uh, maybe like a fifth or a quarter of the community wants intro Yeah, Yeah, no, it's like a fifth of the community wants intro skip. The people who want intro skip are usually uh, not as good as the top level players. And they're looking at it more so from a viewer perspective rather than a runner perspective. However, the top level runners are biased because they've already dumped so much time into watching the intro that they don't want to feel like they've wasted their time, I guess. So both parties are very biased. Intro skip would make people objectively better at the game, because that would mean, that would pile up to more and more and more hours that you could be spending doing runs. In the long run, it would objectively make you a better player, but that isn't, like, an automatic, like, you know, in my opinion, right? If you ask me in my incredibly professional opinion, right? I have a 52, I feel like I have enough experience to give my opinion. I would say no to no to intro skip only because, right? If the reason why they're on N64 is for purist reasons, why would they want an intro skip? And and how is it more pure to use N64 with intro skip than it would be to switch to virtual console? Virtual console is significantly more pure than intro skip, and they do have a purist mindset. So if you absolutely had to pick one or the other for this purest community, Virtual Console makes infinitely more sense. And Intro Skip would be, uh, more convenient on Virtual Console as well, because then you don't need a Game Shock or an EverDrive to make it work. So, Intro Skip would be better on Virtual Console anyway. It'd be more community- it'd be more accessible. And it makes more sense to play on f Virtual Console anyway. So, in my opinion, if the community switched to Virtual Console, then they should have Intro Skip. But they're never going to switch to Virtual Console, which means that they shouldn't have Intro Skip. That's what I'm saying. Well, if you had a modified file, it could start, like, at the text boxes if you really wanted it to. So, at that point, it's just skipping, like, two start inputs. But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah. I kind of agree, Tara. If a speedrun has two controller shit, I automatically will just never play it. I owe you Breaking Bad Latte, yes. Yes, indeed I do. 
it was for the Dennis practice mod. Which, by the way, um, we've gotten some confirmation, a little bit, of, at least a tiny bit of confirmation with that practice mod. The window to two-frame the Dennis token is not the frame after skipping the cutscene, because I mash start and I still got it, which means and it's physically impossible for humans to press start, let go, and then press it again in between frames. So, it is, it literally doesn't start. So, that either means that it's not a two-frame. Well, no, no, no. Um, it mean, actually, what does it mean? Well, it means that it's bullshit, basically. It means it's unfair, because you can't time it. Like, like, uh, like, what actually is consistent is pressing a button and another button a frame later. If you have to wait, like, two to three frames, that's not consistent. That's fucking stupid. So, as far as I'm concerned, the Dennis frames can probably never be made fully consistent. Which means that we have this horrible inconsistency bullshit in the run that adds up to a lot of time. So, uh, yeah, that's something. But Latte, I want it! How's it going, Sponge? Um... I don't know what my- what the worst episode is, but... Maybe, like, Pets at a Pat, or, like... Ink Lemonade, maybe? Or... Potential- you know the one where Patrick borrows Spongebob's Mermaid Man cards? Maybe that one as well. One- one- something like that. Maybe one course meal? But... Eh. I don't think that one's as bad as people say, but it's still pretty fucking bad. Well, yeah, you can, Orion, but... You still, like... Okay, first of all, we are starting to believe that it's a fucking one frame and not a two frame. So... Who, how are you going to consistently skip the cutscene and then press start exactly like three frames later? Like you're not gonna do that consistently. That's not that can not be made consistent. That's just fucking ridiculous. And I know it's ridiculous because I tried the other day and I missed it over fifty times in a row. So that's how I know it's not consistent. My highest consistency with it is when you just fucking mash, and I'm not a good masher. Latte. 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 I shrimply said, like, five minutes ago, Brev, that the window to press start is not starting from one frame after you skip the cutscene. It's, like, multiple frames after. The only times I got success with it, nah, nah, I seriously now, nah, right? The uh, after missing it like over fifty times in a row, when I finally got it, that one felt slower than the past like twenty attempts I did. Like that one felt the slowest, and I got it. It is there is literally no chance that it's the frame after. To me. Okay, well, Khan, how about you do it then? How about you look into frame advance bullshit? If it's so shrimple. Why don't you do it, bro? I don't know if it'd behave differently on GameCube, but it most likely wouldn't. Um, um, um. Also, this is easy one on one pace as long as Mindy works. Uh, which I would hope she would work. Okay, well, I fucked up a little bit there, but that's fine. Yeah, Cotton be like. 
Weenie Out of Bounds is not that bad, bruv. Try it yourself. I bet it'd be horrible even on PAL GameCube. Alright, come on. Nice. Ah, fuck. Okay, well that was a bad Mindy skip. I lost, like, one point something, but who gives a fuck? I just want 101. That's what you all I care about. I don't care if it's 101, 59.99. I just want to be 101. Dude, that throwing fruit goal makes, uh, makes me feel good, bro. And, um, I guess I'll say this again because, um, you know, further into the stream. Because of manly routing shenanigans, uh, BBBH backwards in no major glitches is now, uh, estimated to be slow. So, uh, Lamau XD lol. That category lost a reason to play it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've put a good number of hours into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but I haven't played it since, like, 2021. The The thing is, is that, um, I was thinking of canceling, because I don't really have any friends to play it with anymore anyway, and even if I did, then I gotta pay for online, and, like, I'm just not really using my Switch anyway. Mario Kart 8 is basically only good when you play with friends. And Nova has not booted up his Switch in, like, 20 million years. And Chatter doesn't have the game, I think. So it's just like, what am I gonna do? I don't care to spear a Mario Kart. Eight. Although, I mean, I have a little bit in the past, but I don't, like, care to actually, like, run it more. Like, I don't care to. I just, you know... Bully you a full force. I I I honked at the end there. I'll have you know. Also, I don't know when I can watch Breaking Jeff Latte, because, um, I wanted to make a video tonight about NMG's routing history, because it's pretty interesting now. Then again, it might be bad for my videos to, like, make, like, three videos in three days, because then less people are likely to watch the video, I guess, if there's, like, less time in between the uploads. So maybe I should wait a bit to do that. That would also give me time to, like, actually get resources and shit, I guess. Uh, make sure everything's correct. Mm. I could I could see Egad being in the game. Um... I don't really have any, like, good predictions or anything. But I, I do, I mean, I don't know if they've confirmed they'll add more characters, but if they, you know, I, I'm pretty, I, I feel like even if they haven't, I still feel like they're most likely, because they added Birdo. Which, you know, only adding one would be very bizarre, they're bound to add more.
Bro, there's n okay, no, 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 no. There's no fucking way it's a one frame, because I I mean, uh, not the one frame pod. There's no way it's A and then stop the next frame because. Why are the inputs so goddamn hard then? When with buffer inputs, like in da when you do damage buffers, after opening the menu, you literally press B and then a frame later you press A. How come that's how come I can do that just fine? But then this is like that world's hardest trick. All right, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Empty slots. E uh, Ega could definitely get in there. Um, maybe Sonic. I feel like that 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 has a chance. But then after that, I really just wouldn't know. Yeah, okay. An account just followed me, and the name was, like, bot-like, and then I checked, and the account was made yesterday, and it tried to follow me, probably to get, like, an alert on the screen. But, uh, it is gone now. So, I believe this is the 12th 101. That's pretty casual 101, I feel like. So, the sum of best is two seconds lower. That makes me feel good. Thank you for the GG's. Thanks, Mindy. I've learned a few things about myself. I may be a dork and a wingnut. Okay, don't scale a shoot me, right? I can do one frames, okay? And I like being a kid. I'm just glad that everything is... And then how come all the times it worked, it felt like it was more than a one frame? Or, I mean, how come it felt like the window was... Okay, either way, they should probably go into Discoveries, uh, in the Discoveries channel. No wonder they're so fucking hard, then. They're not two frames. Yeah, but, like, the input of, like, a fit uh, of, an Im like, an input and then the f next frame another input. I could do that. Do unbuffered floating block skip. Okay. That was a warm-up, that doesn't count. Okay. Patrick's one frames are hard, alright? Patrick's one frames are hard as fuck. His animations are so fucking different from each other. No dice. There's no fucking way that wasn't a frame later. There's actually no way. Okay, that I definitely pressed start too early just then. Is this one of those things where the trick is automatically easier when you actually, like know exactly how easy or difficult it is. 
Like, you know when three meter jumps were like the hardest thing ever, and then we realized that there were two frames, and then the, the trick would just automatically became a lot easier for everybody? I think this might be one of those ones. The issue with timing it like this, by the way, is that then you're most likely losing frames from not skipping the cutscene as fast as possible. But that is worth it if it increases the consistency. Additionally, I don't know if disc would behave differently. This is on hard drive right now, but it's probably the same. See, that felt- no, 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 no. That- I definitely pressed start later than all those other times as them, bro, I'm telling you. No fucking- uh. Okay, I'll try and go for, like, one or two more times, one. Okay, I'll try and practice it more tonight, I guess. God damn it, dude. Uh, it's a practice mod, Jake, to practice the animation skip. Also, how's it going? Shadow, um, it's just like a different throwing crew cycle, saves two seconds. I already golded by two seconds, so that's pretty good. I pretty much got probably max time save from now, maybe a tiny bit under. Yeah, maybe it's just, maybe it's, maybe I'm pressing start too early whenever it fails, I don't know. My face went battle trick in movie. <laughs> Uh, dude, uh, that sucks, because, like, that's a lot of time loss as well, but... I wonder if you could theoretically buffer uh I mean, there'd, there'd be no point, but I wonder if you could. Intrusive emotes of meta. Fucking great. What? Okay, Khan. I actually know how it works now, so it's no longer a skill issue. It is now. I mean, it was a knowledge issue before, not a skill issue. Now I know what I'm doing. Right, and I'll practice it more, and yeah. Like a boss. Oh, and because my sum of best is two seconds faster, by the way, my best possible time can, like, actually realistically be 59 going into, like, BBBH or something, which would be really fucking awesome if I could do that. That's, that's one thing I'm gonna get more and more excited about. Being able to exit segments and still have a 59 best possible time is a great feeling. And of course I had that anyway for like no cheese, but I couldn't even guarantee it for depression, now I can. And, uh, unless like the run's pretty damn bad, I can guarantee it out of sandwich driving as well. One f okay, one flat is absolutely happening this year, especially if these Dennis frames are gonna get more consistent. Because right now, I get them, like, a quarter of the time or something like that. So, like, half the time... Uh, when factored for, like, both Dennis frames. But now, I might be able to, uh, not guarantee, but have a high chance of getting one per run. And that would be pretty damn huge. It would mean the majority of the time I'm saving an additional, like, five seconds. 
Ah, bro, I always forget to change the pace. I'm so sorry, bros. Please forgive me. Now that I have two extra seconds, I think I should take, like, a second from throwing through and chuck it somewhere else. I'm wondering where I should put it in this pace, in these pace splits. I'm thinking I should chuck it in 3k. My 3k... I don't expect, like, a great 3k in my splits, but I still expect, like, a good, like, standard 3k. I should probably make it a second slower. Royalties. I'll pay you in Welsh... Uh... I'll pay you in Welsh flags. Anyone know? Oh, yeah, I had a really good idea yesterday, by the way, right? You know how, like, there's no real reason to make, like, a, a task because of Dolphin and, you know, can't play this category? What about the platforming aisles and then you just splice in Xbox loads? Additionally. Additionally. Right? Why not have somebody task the combat arenas? They are very RNG heavy, and we don't... You know, we might even be able to find ways to, like, guarantee certain RNG, or... Even just make it faster, even if, like, even with, like, bad RNG getting in the way. Just make it faster, with consistent methods of making it faster in general. Why not, you know? Because that'd actually be really useful. Like, why not have a combat IL? Uh, I, like a TAS. It's actually something that could transfer over to Xbox. Well, I mean, when I, when I mean guaranteeing RNG, I, I'm also meant ways to mitigate RNG to the point where it's kind of, like, almost a non-issue in the combats. Because, like, for example, in combats, maybe if there's X number of enemies left and uh, this enemy always spawns in the corner or whatever, so you just ball it ahead of time. Or maybe... Uh, not even a specific enemy, just an enemy always spawns there, and then you could ball it, or, uh, you know. We could also see, like, when it's actually worth balling compared to using upgraded guitar and things like that. I don't- I don't ever mention fucking Evo X and splicing. Except for that, I made a splice joke earlier. Um, but I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I said something about spice of life. That's the spice of life, and then I was like, for me, it's the splice of life. Pretty good joke. I'd give myself an 8 out of 10 on that one. Hello, Witty. I do not know who that is. I don't know people. Okay, well, why not just a combat task, then? I have not seen spider this. I don't think I've, like, basically ever watched, like, a superhero movie. I don't think I've ever watched ITV. I switched solely to being on the computer from age, like, 12. Um, uh, nearly 22. Oh, I'd like to wake up now.
I think I might need a spew boost practice mod, though. Cod might have been on something. But I don't know how well it actually transferred to, like, how it's done in a run. But, yeah. But Latte will make me one, unless I watch Breaking Bad Episode 3. But I want to make a video tonight, but I maybe I shouldn't anyway, I don't know. But then I want to play Plants vs. Zombies then. I'm having a good time playing uh, PvZ2 mod, uh, go what it's called. But it has, like, PvZ1 pacing, it's actually quite good. That game is way harder than PvZ1, though. It's, like, kind of, like, jarring. This fucking Gargantua is in ancient Egypt, and that's, like, the literal first world. And they sh- but in PvZ1, they show up in, like, 4-8 or something. I've heard really, really good things about uh, the Spider-Man movie. I probably, like, maybe I'll watch it at some point, don't know. PvC 2 really is a good game. Too bad EA fucking sucks dick, but... I mean, mods are, like, that game sucks, but the mods make the game good. Because the foundation is there. The actual con concept of PvC 2 is great. It's, it is exactly what a sequel should be. And then they fucked it up. But luckily the mods undo that, and then some. A Robopat task is completely dependent on Delta time. Well, I, I don't know, um, the bosses in this game have attack variants, but I don't know what, like, if it's just completely random, or if it is, like, how long the game's been booted up for, or whatever the fuck, I don't know. Uh, we worked out before that, at least from, like, limited testing, Frogfish can charge at you at the very beginning, as late as 0.3 seconds later than, like, someone else. Which is, like, absurd. If that happens, you just, like, automatically can't match Frogfish IL world record, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe you, like, barely can, but then that's just, like, too demanding at that point. Yeah, Cotton, they're basically, like, really- they're, they're, like, objectively really good, because they don't just effectively double its damage output or whatever, it also increases the damage output of every other fucking plant in that lane. Um... It also gives you more time to, like, charge up, like, insta-kill plants and shit, uh, shit like that, too, and generate more sun. They're more than twice as good as, uh, they're actually, like, several times better than, like, the pea shooter <laughs> when you factor, like, a full defense. You know that, uh, that PvZ1 minigame with the pogo stick guys? Um, I just used Winter Melon, and it just, like, I, I literally had just one row of Winter Melons, and none of them even got close to eating through the Toll Nuts. Literally just one thing of Winter Melons and one row of, uh, Toll Nuts, and they just couldn't even, they couldn't even hope to win at that point. One mini game I used to like as a kid, but I don't like that much anymore, is Call Him Like You See Him, because it's literally RNG. It took, like, five tries me to beat it, and there's no skill involved. It literally is just... get lucky. With, like, the insta-kills. I kept getting, like, no insta-kills.
Magnets are pretty good in in uh, the roof levels. I will let admit. The best plant though is the imitator. That shit's awesome. Being able to imitate like pumpkins or tall nuts is like actually OP as fuck. I'm surprised there's no like actual downside other than the obvious taking up a seed slot. Like they should have probably made it so that like if you imitate a plant, like maybe after the first three times is more expensive. Or maybe you just make it more expensive from the beginning. Uh, but no, it's literally just like the same, it's just no drawbacks, basically. Which is especially good in Survival Endless, when you've already built up your offense and you're just trying to build up a quick defense. It's actually OP. Exactly, iPi. Uh, I missed a trick. If, but if you mean why did I reset the console, it, it it's for like f uh, it's for like three reasons. I uh, know two reasons, but the main one is to prevent a crash. Yes. PVC1 has a, a coin issue. It, it takes a lot to buy the lawn mowers, uh, the pool cleaners, and the roof cl uh, cleaners. And to get all the seed slots and to get the imitator, it's extremely expensive. You have to- you basically have to grind that one minigame. You know what else is stupid? In in the garden, if you just have a regular plant, like a regular flower to grow, I'm pretty sure when it's fully grown, it only gives you one diamond. But, like, I think you have to feed it so often that, like, you barely make money back. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Yeah. Clicking on all those coins sometimes, uh, hits the wrists a little bit. Uh, especially in, like, Survival Endless, or, uh, that one minigame where, like, it is kind of like a Survival Endless type of thing, you know, the one where you, um, have to spend a bunch of sun and it's supposed to last, like, a, a few waves? Like, that one, clicking on coins constantly. However, on PS3, it's actually goaded because it, they magnetized to you. To your stick, you just move the stick around, it's fucking great. Welcome. Just spin that fucking thing in circles and it'll do its magic. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. Fucking PC PVZ is good, but I don't like those 4x3. But, like, I don't think there's any, like, 16x9 mods that don't also increase, like, you know, remake the visuals and shit, and I don't want that. I literally just want, like, you know. I won PVZ1, but it's, like, a bit harder, and it has the speed of button, and it's widescreen. That'd be pretty goaded. But, like, they never do just that. They always make it way too hard, or they make the visuals very different when I don't want to. When I don't want them to be different, you know, things like that. Wake up now. 
couldn't find one. <laughs> um, at the very least. There were, every PVZ one mod be like, PVZ but unfair? Like, yes, PVZ one is too easy, but like, dude, please. Even the mod that I play, you know that that kind of harder mode mod that I sh that I showed you the other day, that one was in four by three, but still updated the visuals. <laughs> like fucking why? Also, I still have the Walmart page open for those ice cream things. Like a mouse. SpongeBob. There's a video my recommended, um... New fastest cruise boost, 346 speed. By Smiley. Cool. Who knows? Maybe there's a PVZ2 mod that literally just recreates PVZ1, but with that engine, maybe. Oh my god. Ooh, wait, I see a good video. You might get your raped. 54321. Nope, it's muted anyway. We're good. I wanted to watch it for later, so I opened the link now so I, I don't forget. Welcome. That always confused me. I feel like the reason why it didn't have a PC port was because it was harder to justify, like, the pay-to-win system uh, on PC games back then. Um...
Yeah. It just doesn't make sense, because, like, the game is too small to play on a phone. Especially back then. Phones are bigger now than they were back then. Who the fuck was playing on a phone? You basically couldn't play it unless it was on, like, an iPad or a tablet thing. That's, like, basically the only way to play it. Again, I, I think it's to more so justify, like, the free-to-play thing. It's on PC, that's pretty rare back then. Even though the game is cringe, I will give it one thing. It's pretty amazing that they still update it to this day. I was not expecting that. They introduced a new plan recently. Yeah, they really dug their own grave, because PvZ2 couldn't be played by nearly as many people, and because of the pay-to-win thing, people just weren't interested anyway, and the massive difficulty spike. If they made it how they should have, and then just charged, like, $10 or whatever for it, then they could have more so... More people would have played it, more people would like it. They could have really sold more consoles. They probably would have made more money overall, I feel like. I think they got too greedy in the short term, and it fucked them in the long term. But obviously we can't say for sure, because we don't we don't live in that reality where like it actually wasn't like a pay to win shit game, but mm. well yeah, we were talking yesterday, I remember um talking about the uh, the music. SpongeBob Okay, PVZ2 apparently came out on the 9th of July, 2013. Uh, which is basically 10 years ago. Old as fuck, bro. Uh, it just, it just says initial release date, so I'm not sure. Either way, the game feels pretty good for being that old, although it's probably because I'm playing a mod. Hello, Lucy. How you doing today? Hope you're having a great day. Um... It does have some of my favorites, you're right. Oh. Uh, I just remembered a video that I watched when I was a lot younger on YouTube. It was like PVZ2 uh, new plants, and it was literally just like horrible, like photoshopping or whatever, like low quality images and just really stupid fucking. Yeah, I re I remember watching those videos back in like 2011 or something. Yeah, it, it had the same vibe as Xbox 720. Y you know the guy who made that video of like, uh, um, you know, predicting new consoles, you know, and, and it was like the, it was like unregistered hypercam and shit, I think it was unregistered, it was like Windows Movie Maker and stuff. That guy literally works on the dev team for Fortnite now, apparently. Same exact guy. Best possible time is 59, yes! Even though the run kind of sucks, yes! Blankenstein. 
damn, Apple uses Stay Winning. Oh yes, now I can finally play Plants vs. Zombies 2 on my iPhone, like, 4, which has, like, the smallest screen in the world, brev. It, it is basically impossible to play on a fucking tiny-ass phone, bro. Maybe on one of those, like, flip phones you could play PVZ. The flip phones are a rip-off, bro. They have, like, this massive dead zone in the middle, and, uh, they're extremely expensive for last-gen specs. Not even last-gen, like... They they'll have, like, the same sort of specs that, like, iPhone ten has, but it'll be foldable. They have a huge fucking thing in the middle line. Yeah, I gold it by two seconds earlier, Lucy, so I'm kind of bowling right now. I can, I can play worse and still get 59 best possible time, which is pretty insane. I didn't have an iPad or anything in I didn't have a phone or anything like that until 2016. The one good thing about flip phones is that, um... The clamshell to protect the screen so you don't even, like, need a kiss. I would say that I like the PS3 version I play Cotton, but it kept, like, skipping music tracks and looping music tracks and playing music tracks from different levels and things like that. It even crash one time. And that's with an SSD, so I don't even think it was, like, to do with the hard drive. It might have been from my PS3 being, like, maybe, um... It was overheating or something, but it's Plants vs. Zombies. It, sh it should not be overheating. Yeah. I apparently, by the way, I wonder if flip phones will come back in the future because... Like with uh, like the old because apparently we're we're running out of touch screens. Uh, we're running out. And we we will run out unless we can find a substitute. And then what do you even what do you even do with phones at that point? Like literally, like what do you do at that point? Yeah, uh, they've been talking about it for a few years. And the way that we're going, they, like, we simply will run out. I'm not sure how long it'll take, but we will run out. Probably in the next, like, five years or something, I would imagine. Yeah, we're running out of the material or something to make it. I don't even know. And then, it, again, it's like, what do you even do then, you know? I found one they need to find a substitute. What the actual fuck was that, dude? I don't even know what inputs could have caused that. Lick screens. I lick my screen when I see anime girls on it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Ah, this shit's acting up now, bro. Why did you say this? Why, why did you say this? Why did you say this? Why did you say this? Why 
Dude, this trick is acting up now. Missed it once, and now I'm... Okay, now I got it, but that was only because of wood. If I'm only getting it because of wood, that's still just, like, not good enough in the sense that my setup is bad. Snuggling them like a boy wife. What is wrong with you, bro? Considering I did this, like, 6,000 times, it actually would have been beneficial to have a practice mod, like, unironically, because you could skip all, like, yeah, you could skip all of this, basically. So you'd save, like, 8 to 9 seconds per attempt. Yeah, no, unironically, like, you'd actually benefit from a mod of this if you're trying to, like, get really good at it. But I don't need it, because I'm awesome, brev. If VR were base, we get a sort of online scenario where you can't take the fucking thing off. Also, there'd probably be some weird exploit to, like, make you fucking... I don't know. I just, I just feel like it would go horribly wrong somehow. I feel like I'd get motion sick from it, but I've never actually tried it. I'm not buying a VR headset just to do nothing with it, and then pro potentially get sick from it, too. What would be the point, Brev? What would be the point? FNAF. You're gonna buy an expensive headset for fucking FNAF? Like, really, bro? Are those expensive too? Like if you get a good one? Why don't you why don't you get a graphics card upgrade or something, bro? Isn't the good one, uh, like, the Oculus or something? The good VR headset? This is a job for... A manager. A manager is always prepared. Um, I th apparently, well, a lot of fans, like, blow he out of the exhaust, so I think it actually makes the room hotter as soon as you turn the fan off. Oh, I'd like to wake up now. Unless you get, like, specific ones. I have one that, tri that rips off, like, the, the Dyson fan design, and they don't, they don't have an exhaust. But they're also very loud relative to, like, how much they pump out. It's actually a really good heater, but it's not a very good fan. I'm probably gonna open the windows in this room, by the way. I'm fucking dying. I'm as pink as Patrick. That's not true, I'm white. Yeah, so there's no way you're gonna buy an extremely expensive headset for fucking Five Nights at Freddy's, bro. There's actually no way. 
And don't try to justify it with, uh, but I'd play like two more games, Brev. Yeah, you'd play them for like five minutes and then never play them again. So that doesn't count. Patrick, if he was white. Yo mama. If he was white. Yo mama so white. Okay, yeah, Cotton, but you'd effectively be spending over $400 on a game. I wouldn't pay $400 for fucking Minecraft, and that's like the game I'd probably put the most amount of time into. Are you gonna get thousands of hours out of fucking Five Nights at Freddy's? Are you? Yeah, but like, okay, but here's what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna use it for like three more games, and two of them you're gonna only play. You're gonna only gonna put like an hour into them, so that, so they don't even count. So then you're actually only gonna use it for for like two games, and then by the time you're sick, you're sick and tired of the thing, and you get to the point of only using it like once a year every time you want to feel some nostalgia, you've only put like 15 hours into the damn thing, and then you admit there was a bad purchase. And then I'm like, I told you it was. And then you're like, bruh. And I'm like, bruh. That's that's a conversation that's gonna happen in like a year from now, or if if that. What is it? What does that even mean, Lucy? Did they cost money individually? I'm just saying, you buying that headset is like the equivalent of buying a Wii U. That's all I'm saying. You are essentially purchasing a Wii U. I mean, I, I mean, I mean the Wii U in the sense of like, yeah, you might play a few games, but it wasn't exactly worth the fucking money. Also, I have modded my Wii U, and whenever I try to play GBA games on it, it fucking crashes like really quickly. I honestly kind of regret buying a Wii U. I'm not gonna lie. The all, all I really got out of it was like new Super Luigi U and 3D World before it came out on the Switch. But that's the thing. All those games are on the Switch. They may be more expensive, but they're usually better versions of the game. On a, you, you know how physically. Not physically. You know how mentally taxing it is to boot up a Wii U? Like, I won't play a game. Specifically because it's on Wii U. Like, New Super Mario Bros. U wouldn't play it because it's on the Wii U. I bought the game on Switch secondhand, even though that was way more, even though I had to buy it, because I wanted to boot up my Wii U that little, because booting it up is so mentally taxing because it's a Wii U.
Like, it, it, it just does something to you. It's, it's so... Horrible to get out the Wii U, find space for it, plug you know, p place it in that space, plug it in, charge the gamepad because it can't hold the charge to save its fucking life. Should spend hours charging it, then boot up the fucking thing. I just, it just doesn't feel good. It just, it feels like it is the worst console to boot up, for, and and I don't know why. It just is. I don't really care for Splatoon 1 because I didn't have any friends that bought the Wii U. I put quite a few hours into Splatoon 2 though. Well, I wasn't gonna let people in school know that a Wii U. I was gonna get bullied, bro. And I'm not even because it's bad, but because of Nintendo. I wasn't. No friends, bro, play with Wii U with. The power went out. Early powers reference. I own one and two, but not three. Oh, nice cotton. Very based. Some streamers use like a power generator thing, which is kind of funny. So it's just like random. My power's never fully gone out, it's only ever flickered. Which, speaking of, that hasn't happened in forever. Also, after this run, I might go for a piss. I don't even know if I can hold it in for the rest of this run if it finishes. I should be able to, I think. Oh, right, okay. I wonder how that happened. One of my extension leads doesn't have surge protection, so that's a little, you know, and my PC plugs into that one, <laughs> like a mouse. Dude, I'm getting, like, tired and hot and stuffy in this room, but if I open the windows, flies will come in, and there might be people outside, and, like, it'll take, like, two hours or something for this room to actually get cool. Like a mouse. Yeah. If I want to open the window, it's got to be done at the end of, like, Rubber of 2 or something. Dude, I swear my internet company does that. I swear, like, once every, like, month is just, like, some random time of the day where the internet goes out for, like, no more than, like, 10 minutes. And it feels like some sort of maintenance thing that they never tell anyone about. Whenever that happens, I just immediately just turn the data on on my phone because I'm an addict. I didn't even realize it, like... How addicted I am, I am to my phone and shit until recently. I don't know how I lived until 2016 without a phone. Because, like, I would fucking die now. Like, all those hours in school without a fucking phone. Waiting in the car to get home with nothing to do. And shit like that, you know?
Yeah, that can be dangerous, too. Although, by the way, though, actually, um, the, the power company over here, they actually did tell us. In fact, they literally gave us, like, th like two weeks' notice or something. The only issue is I forgot, so my PC's still shut off. What? Um, okay. That means that every single split has been changed now. Every single one. Um, um, no pull storage. I don't know how it took this long. But they are finally, officially all changed. Um. So that's something. I was thinking to add a um, indie skip split before, and if I ever do, then we'll have to have a name for that one too. You'll have to give me a sec. Hopefully I can change both split names before, before I get fucked. And by that I mean after Whoop the Sandwich Driving. Alright, that's done. And here, monster. I don't have time to split now. Okay, um... Fuck, where is it? Okay, I did it. It's done. No pull storage officially has every split name changed. A treadmill. Imagine they're running at like a f uh, like max speed, and then it goes off, and they just fucking run into the treadmill and break a bone. Probably has happened before. Bendy skip. Bendy, Bendy in the ink machine. Am I funny? Uh, I had a treadmill and an exercise bike, right? The treadmill, the capacitor in the treadmill literally blew up. Like, it just blew up. That thing cost quite a bit of money and it lasted like three years. And the uh, it's like a little out of the warranty, and the company will not respond to my mom's messages. So basically, I hope the CEO of the treadmill dies tonight. I actually wanted to get back into using it as well. Well, this is not my fucking fault. Not 
my fault, bro. My mum was on it when it broke. I was asleep. When I got my first phone, it was a Google Nexus, and it has a year warranty, and it started boot looping two weeks before the warranty died. And apparently Nexuses are known for boot looping, like, basically just outside the warranty. So, I nearly had a useless phone after- or it might have been two years. It was either one or two years. Um, because of... Well, basically, because my parents cheaped out. <laughs> oh, see, I open the windows, like, every stream. Well, I haven't for the past, like, two or three streams, but I was doing it, like, every stream. You wouldn't know if, uh, you watched every single second of my streams. I had a laptop that I used for like seven years, but it was pretty brutal to use it after like five. Now I have another- uh, this laptop. I say this as if, as if, like, it's in front of me, but... I've had that one since 2016, but I did replace the hard drive with an SSD because it was insufferable otherwise, and it still is terrible, but... Also, only one of the USB ports works, and the trackpad doesn't uh, work. Like a boss. Also, it's a 720p display. And if you have, like, multiple tabs open and stuff, it can't even play a... It can't play a 720p 60fps YouTube video. It's gotta be 30fps. Thank you, Kaden. Yeah, going on the trip, like, I wanted to get back back into it. You can, like, put your phone, like, on the handle of the treadmill, and then you can just watch stuff. That would have been great, but, yeah. What? Oh, isn't it like sensing? That is funny, but it doesn't apply anymore, really. The only lag spikes now are uh, now that a man, SCDA at the end, and um, Neptune. Because that one is referencing um, when the game would lag spike when it's trying to spawn the enemies uh, after doing slide jumps in BBBH. I forgot what yours was, not gonna lie. Well, I could just do meme and then whatever the number was, I think it was 64. Or I could even just do Meme Lucy, and then it'd be the... Damn, Latte, you fell off. You fell off.
I have I okay, I swear to god I have not seen that meme in like since like 2021, I swear to god. Oh, wait, Lucy actually meant... Okay. I only saw the the water into Prime Part, and I didn't see that Lucy said it. And then when Lucy said look up, I, th I thought Lucy was making a joke about, like, oh, look up to the previous stream. Like, look, you know, like, look... Yeah, anyway. Why does my pinky finger kind of hurt? Cut it out, pinky finger. We have a lot to go. Feels almost like bruised. I will shrimply ignore. Uh oh. That was close. That was a close call. Me when me and my friends just barely escape death. Well, that just happened. I think that's enough adventuring for one day. Yeah, like the corners of it, like don't do shit, Carden, basically, of the spurt. Fuck you, Lena. Maybe we should add a command where if you say that, then Nightbot copies it, maybe? Who knows? Would that be a good idea? That's kind of true, actually. Lena posts it every time. Every time they hear. Like, every time. <laughs> Literally every time. Um... Don't say flinger, or else I'll kill you. Also... Um... I don't know. All I know is if you get hit, then you lose time. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you're not supposed to have that physics when the game is booted up. It's an error. It's it's supposed to be giving you specific properties and it doesn't unboot up. And then getting hit by spit corrects it because the way that Patrick moves around is, is how he's supposed to be moving around on the ice blocks. So it corrects it, and it's like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be. So, no. I just... Watch, watch this liberal just get absolutely destroyed, Grev. Uh, I actually have no idea a lot. I mean, I know it's on 360, but I don't know about the other versions. I actually have no idea. Alright, this one's better than the last one that got to Nathua, man. PS2 most likely has a, but... Yeah, and GameCube probably does too. Which I can't be asked to check. You know what I can be bothered to check, though? 
I want to check if uh, Zemu has an update. Of course it doesn't. Zemu, after one month of silence, be like, Guys, yes, update! Where literally nothing has changed. Yes! Say Spain without the A. <laughs> e. Ah, uh, yeah, what Harden said, I pie. I don't know why, I just thought of, like, some sort of kid named Fogger emote. I think that'd be funny. Dude, why do birds always go past my, my fucking window? Did I miss the TNT? Did I fall off? Guys, I think Pimple Foundation fell off. Joseph Mama. Heavy Iron Land. Interesting name. Anyway, I have no idea. Uh, dude, the reason that's really annoying, that happened because uh, my ball, like, sort of bounced upwards. So we have more time to shoot. It's okay, guys. I have two seconds in throwing through, guys. I, for some reason, went left. How's it going, Darth? Um. Through. And, you know, I was like, I really, I felt like there had to have been a faster way of doing throwing fruit, and it turns out I was right. I'm gonna switch the comparison in a second, I think. I have missed Monster Skip both times I've been here today, but I get quick cross. Dude, what the fuck? This fucking buffer causes so many issues, I kinda wanna drop it. The number of times I've missed Monster Skip specifically because of the buffer, like... Whatever. Your mum's fruity. In my bed.
wonderful weather we're having. Dude, 501 is so gross. That's actually disgusting. That, that's literally like 501, like, stop being good in like fucking like 2020, like early to mid 2020. As the. Uh, I don't look like a zombie from all this. Oh yeah, let's say hypothetically you spend a bunch of money. Is that what you're saying? How about you give me the money for it? Maybe instead of Cotton buying a fucking Oculus in which he's going to only put like 50 hours max into it. How about he gives me he gives it to me so I can get cosplay? Thanks for the 75 chips, bro. However... Cotton, thank you for the bit. Ah, uh, it, it's a little short. Unlike me, who is incredibly tall. Ah, uh, 50. I'm nowhere near full foot. Oh, dude, that's so hard for some reason. Oh, I, I was mashing. I... Mm, I was mashing. I don't know exactly where to skip the cutscene there, so I just mash. The practice mod is just for Dennis, too. I like to get the timing right. No, no, that one doesn't count, because my brain was obviously thinking of Dennis, too, because I did all the attempts in Dennis, too. You will be... You, you will be sorry when I get it in Dennis 2.
So true, Lena. So fucking true. Also, Khan, you should buy more bets, and then you can afford it. Slipping, slipping, slipping! Bring up two! Nice, congrats. It probably felt very weird to, like, play the game because it's, like, so different from a few years ago. I mean, if you don't want to buy the bits either, Carden, you know, because 41 is just... I mean, you might as well just give me the 41 then, right? You know, oh, you know a little bit of chump change for you. If you're not doing anything with them, you know, I feel like... Uh... Well, yeah, I, won I wonder why you do it for fucking free. Wonder why. I, I gave you people, I I played Glover and Super Sponge at a loss, but apparently I'm a fucking scammer. This is not looking good. Throwing through action, part two. Jesus Christ, Lena, are you okay, bro? I just... How did that work? How did... Okay, no, nah, that's bullshit. That's bullshit, bro. Oh, yeah, what are you, like, 5,000 units away from the token? Yeah, nah, nah, you got it, bro. The Creek? Nope, no chance. You're literally having sex with the Creek token? Nope, didn't get it. 5,000 units away from the Throwing Fruit token? Yeah, you got that one, apparently. There's no fucking way they all have the exact same hitbox. There's literally no way. Oh, uh, yeah. I would personally probably try and avoid Guppy on CP. Um, good on you for doing it, though. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no. No, never mind. The amount of time I lost is about correct. The Living Tombstone. Didn't they make that Five Nights at Freddy's song that everyone memed on? Wow, Cotton cannot count. Oh, I remember Spooky Scary Skeletons. I remember that one. That one was kind of bowling breath.
Oh, yeah, it's lap two. So now I can do this. Also, 101 is, like, practically dead, I think. So, uh, who wants to see a 102? And then I piss after this run like a boss. This game does not need 69 tokens, right? At that point, it'd be even more agonizing. There's not 70. Yeah, well, maybe you're all just weird. Have you ever considered that one? I can probably skip these manlies. Uh, I I suppose you could do that. iPi, if you do that, it'll take, like, an extra, like, day or something for the mod to come out. I want to play it, Ace. <laughs> Have some mercy, bro. I'm not talking the Overwatch character. I didn't- I didn't do anything to myself. The only thing I did to myself was be based. But I don't want more content. I want to play Blitz now. Where? Why do you hate me so much? No, I'm based everybody. You think I'm based, right, Lena? Uh. Okay, why am I not based? Wall went wrong. Okay, okay, Cotton. I said something about 69 tokens being cringe, and now iPi's gonna add more content, and apparently I'm abusing. Okay, bro. Alright, let's do it.
skill issue? Skill issue? I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. Don't say that shit to me again. Thank you, I appreciate your revoking of such claims. Shrimply acryl issue. That's fucking stupid. Maybe I can get 101. If the plank's good, then I might be able to. Because I only lost like a second off the gold here, I think. Like, this was pretty good. I missed like one jump. Alright, this is actually looking pretty good. I'm actually bringing this back. The, uh, the skybox. Like I said earlier, I only learned last night that Plank's, uh, skybox, like, actually spins around. You might be able to see it from time to time. You haven't noticed it before, because if I've noticed it, then I will make you notice it too. Holy fucking shit, I fucking hate the move so fucking much. Dude, th this happens like a third of the time now. It's so fucking... It just insta-kills like a lot of runs. Look at that sky... Uh, yeah, no, look at the skybox in the background, you can see it moving. I was today years old when I realized that I hate Cardin. Cardin hacker. Why are you hacking? Stop. That was not even my fault. That's not a skill issue! The game fucking lagged too hard, it literally wasn't my fault. Which, by the way, probably the reason why I lagged so hard was because we found out before lag can vary depending on how far into the music track it is. The only reason why, probably the reason why, you know, I was in a different part of the music track than normal because the move fucked me, because my movement's too good. So, if anything, that happened because I'm too good at the game. Alright, so it's not a skill issue. Why would I do it unbuffered? If I did it unbuffered, I'd stand there for like two seconds, like slowly inching my way to the token.
Which means it would just be slower than doing the car wheel buffer and less consistent. There's no fucking texture set up, bro. <laughs> wow, I got fucked again. Okay, well, if Mindy Skip fails, I'm I think I have the time to uh still get a 102. I, th I think I can still do it, so I don't think it matters if it fails, but I could be wrong potentially. Wow, Khan, you'll make it go from 15% consistency to 25% consistency. Wow, nice one. Yeah, but, like, that, like, never happens. So it's like, why would I react to that when it never happens? I know part of skill is, like, recovering things, but, like, I... I, I don't even think... That's happened to me more than like three times, probably. E okay, if Mindy Skip fails. And then I play really, really good. I can barely get a 102. How does Mindy Skip take like 50 seconds to set up, by the way? Actually, including the ball, it's like 51 point something. 52. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm just so good at this game. I'm so good. My manlies in this room are pretty nuts. I have 7,300 pretty much entering Knucklehead, and um, I skip the Gask stack, and that gives you like a couple hundred, I think. It doesn't even just work like that, Cardin. I've tried it before, right? Like, I stand still, and the guitar hits the statue, and then I literally stand still, don't move it at all. Guitar again doesn't work. You literally, like, have to keep moving around to, like, a new spot to, like, try and get it so that it keeps taking hits. You just, like, after the first hit, if you just keep pressing R and not move, it just won't work, like, most of the time. This is unfair as fuck. I... I don't know. I can't imagine it would, because then it's like, what's the point? Like, why would it do that? But... Maybe. No middle door. SMH. That was pretty good. Ah, uh, maybe Cotton. I'm not sure. Figuring out that would be great for the consistency. Nah, my Mindy skip lost like point like five off my gold anyway. I think.
Yeah, but I'm a second off. Mindy skip and middle door combined. Like, yeah. Oh my god, I hate this game. Thank you, Cardonicles. Smiley face. Bro! How? Literally how? Oh my fucking god. Practiced it earlier too. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know how much I lost, but I can still get a 1 or 2, I'm sure. No way I lost 50. I probably lost like 30. Sometimes I message Card and Latin, I'm just like, ooh, you want to find depression combat skip with ball storage, ooh. But he never listens to me. This is the furthest thing up world record pace I've ever seen in my life. However, um, world record is easier than ever today because of throwing through. Also, how, literally, how did I do the fire face so bad that I'm... Okay, whatever. I'm, like, so undoing the split afterwards, bro. Well, yeah, I've said this before, but Strat Hunters try to think outside the box too much. When you think of it, like, when you, when people were thinking of uh, throwing through before, it's probably just like, throwing through? Mm, nah, I can't imagine there's a faster cycle there. Alright, moving on. Like, but people will think, eh, what if I um, did this um, um, extremely hard bounce in sandwich driving? If it's even possible. <laughs> What if I did this very hard fucking bounce that would save, like, one frame breath? It bash your head against, against the wall for fucking ten hours and it doesn't work. Okay, well, I want to run against one or two pace because I want to know how far ahead I am, right? Of the splits. Stop being a hater. What more do I want from you? I don't know, some other time save saves like three seconds in SCDA, like a boss. Upgraded bash is not the future. Upgraded bash would like only be worth upgrading in like old tokens and hundo if we ever found like a manly duplication glitch or something, because that'd actually be pretty nice for the spitters in the worst case scenario. But I don't even think we'd upgrade it, honestly. Goofy Goobacock. It is June. Cirque Light, Shrimply Watch, Cirque Light Comparison. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, I mean, that worked out fine. Holy Jesus, that Neptune was bad. Um, how many 102s is that now? 40. It's actually 40. I already... I think I have, like, 35 107s or something, but now this is going to be, like... This is going to be the highest... I mean, it already is the highest uh, number of, like, you know, times I have. 102 is very easy as long as as long as long Mindy Skip doesn't fail. It's, like, really, really easy. And even if it does fail, it's not even, like, that bad, like, to get 102. So then you just need, like, an okay run at that point. Um, 40th, 102. You know how the Odyssey World Record Holder has, like... He has like a hundred fifty eights or something. That's what she give me. Me, <laughs> this keeps going. 
knucklehead Lexpazitron. Yes, but more importantly, I'm um. a kid. And I like being a kid. I'm just glad that everything is back to normal. And I'm going to update the Mindy log. Alright, we're on doing this fucking split, though. Over the island paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder cool. how long until the sequel depends on the box office. Now go outside and get some sun. You look It's too quiet. Mm. If you don't have the eye for that, it looks like it cut off too early. I'm saved. Anyway, how's it going, Green Boy? Um, it is on DVD. I own the DVD. If I, I just realized, I'm pretty sure my disc is still in that TV. Remember, I had the TV in the background playing SpongeBob second season episodes. I think the DVD is still inside of it, and I just completely forgot, so that's something. Find a way to, uh... Preserve Mindy Skip, Ice Physics Glitch, Sandwich Crash, and Mindy Stir. Uh, so we don't have to keep restarting the console. That's your next, next task, Latte. <laughs> Um, and also it needs to not lose time. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a piss real quick. I'll be back in a minute. You should krill yourself now. They really- there haven't been people that have, like, unironically asked a VC since, like... Like, 2020, so he- and even then, they only happened, like, a few times. I just don't know what those people's deal was, because whenever they'd ask, it'd almost always be people who I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even know who they were. It's not even like... Like, I think they literally- I don't even think they were in the SpongeBob community. I think they would just come out of nowhere, like, absolutely nowhere to be like, can AV he? Like, who are you? I don't even know who you are. Yes, Lena, that is you. Manager coming. Lactose intolerant. A manager is always prepared. What did I say last stream? I said something along the lines of like You will like somebody said like you will never wake up next to a, a girl or something, and then I was like, Yeah, I wake up next to a bag. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, 
But, like, people would just, I don't know, they just see, like, a VC and they would just weirdly just be really... Yeah. Although, that question just, ha I feel like for some reason, like, that has that isn't normalized now. People just randomly ask. Maybe COVID made people too antisocial to ask for VCs or something, I don't know. Or maybe COVID, after it ended, got people out of the house so they don't- they're not dwelling on Discord all day asking people to VC. Who knows what it could be. Nah, part of the reason why people don't ask to VC anymore is because I'm never even in a VC in the first place. They asked to join the VC, not a VC, you know what I mean? So... But I haven't, like, VC'd with people on stream since 2020, so yeah, people stopped asking. The voice communication one is really fucking stupid, by the way. It's like, why is it even in the meme list? Yeah. Long-ass time ago. I feel old. Strat Hunter VC stream. The fuck am I gonna find? I'd just be there for the ride. The, the, I, I did think about, okay, I will say, I, f I did find Fast Lobster from a joke stream where all I did was Strat Hunt. So what I did, right, because I had Tedious as stream key, I streamed, On his account, I streamed with his Twitch layout, his live split layout, everything, right? But then I just strat hunted. I even tried to, like, use filters to make my gameplay look more like his. It, it didn't look exact, but I got it to look pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent comparison. Um... And during that, I was looking for strats, and I did find Fast Lobster. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Yeah, that's what they all say, Cotton. Longer you go without a VC, the harder it is to, like, mentally... Like, mentally to join a VC. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah, god, my... My 1734 was really good. Um... Which is funny, because now it sucks, but, yeah. My sum of best back then was, like, low 106 or something. Six minutes faster now, more than some of best is. I had a dream about Rub-A-Dub recently, hey. like a time save for Rub-A-Dub, but like in this dream, Rub-A-Dub skip didn't exist, and it was just like a corner cut or something to save like a second, 
Also, as dreams go, the track layout looked nothing like Rub-A-Dub, except for, like, the desert theming. That was consistent, and there were even some rails and stuff, just like in the actual Rub-A-Dub. But obviously, like, the actual entire layout was completely off. Uh, it was 2020 Latte. My 107.34 was in April 2020. And then I stopped playing the category for like three months, and then, uh... Good, uh there, were, there was like 15 plus seconds of time save then. And then after like a three week grind, I finally got a three second PB. I remember that. My next godlike run was my 105.34, but it wasn't as good. And then same sort of thing, I quit the category for ages, came back, there's more time save. Then it took a while to beat it by three seconds again. Fucking literally these same times except minus two minutes. And same sort of circumstances. It was weird though, like the 105, if Rubber Dub Skip didn't get found, the 105 would still actually be kind of good. Okay, so. Well, fuck, what was my PB before Rubber Dub Skip got found? They remember. I, it, I think it was 2x, 105 2x, but I actually don't know. Hey. Oh, well, I'd like to wake up now. No swimming just after eating. <laughs> My name is Hey, how's it going, Broken? Thank you very much for the tier 1 subscription. For 29 months. I think that's like... Isn't that roughly how many tokens you get on, in all world tokens? Anyway, welcome back to the Purple Foundation's relations in the stations. I hope you are having a good day. Was it really the 105.31? I, d I just would have assumed I would have. Hold on, bros. No, no, no. It was the. It was a 105.24. Although I don't know how good that run is. I remember at this point, though, I was, like, theoretically bordering 104 potential. Okay, so my description is that I want a high 1x in the category, right? So that would be 105.19. Uh, if you make rubber dub skip save like the exact you know we we didn't we never timed it exactly but i always estimated like three minutes 14 three minutes 15 so subtract uh add my 101 19 to uh or i mean 20 that would be 104 35 but then add uh, Sponge Glide to it, and then it's like just on, it's like 10448 or something. And then uh, Qu Quick Chris and Sandwich Out of Bounds, and now and now it literally is like 105 flat or like 10459 maybe. So yeah, I've uh, in terms of like the actual like consistency of movement, I have barely improved. And, uh, if those tricks didn't exist, I would have, like, only just barely gotten a 104 by now. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Mac and cheese and chicken. You know what I like eating? Ash browns. Yeah, I was really preparing 104 to be, like, the biggest grind of my life. It really was just gonna be, like, the greatest achievement of my life. And, uh... Yeah. 
Piffle, for some reason, sent me a picture. You know, like, those, um, those cases of, like, water bottles, and then it's wrapped in, like, plastic that's, like, see-through? He showed me a picture of one of those, and there's a cat where, like, a bottle is supposed to be. Stuck in- stuck in there. I don't know why he sent me that. One flag, give me that. True. Now the now the really big one to go for is not 104, but one flat. Which is like obviously extremely far away from 59, but I mean every second we get closer. And throwing through will contribute. I I will get one flat, like there's just no doubt about it that we'll get one flat. The only way I wouldn't is if I, like, quit streaming forever or my fucking- one of my arms fucking got chopped off or some- something like that. As long as I'm still here, I plan to get one for uh, however long it takes. iPi sent me a picture of a cat. I did get jump scared, very scary. Oh yeah, Cotton. I mean, it's happened before. It reminds me of when Battle was like very, very close to 59. I think the world record was like one flat oh two or something. And then Um Okay, I, I think it was like one flat eleven, and then the world record didn't improve for a while, but there was still strat and route developments. And then basically, by the time 59 happened, it didn't just happen. Uh, I think like a mid-59 was achieved. How can I feel happier, iPie, when it was a jump scare? I am pissing myself. Sub hour is not the. I mean, what else is it to go for in this category at the moment now that I have a 59 summer burst? Lena sent me a tweet of a cat. Like a mouse. All right, let's watch this Lena video. It's a cat trying to jump over a hoop and it fails. I don't even think that would save time in no pull storage. I really don't. Because it would take, like, without even factoring how long it would take to disable Hans, like, it just takes ages to do Rock Slide, I feel like. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Hello, Grim. How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Also, thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. What we need, right? We need, like, a uh, some, like... 
We need, like, uh, a hack where, like, it just deletes, like, the Hans triggers and rock slides, and then we can just figure out, like, the fastest way to do shit. Uh, can it be done again? It's... <laughs> Oh my god, I thought it was Rock Slide. Because we were just talking about Rock Slide. <sighs> that lost like a second and a half, probably. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing... I'm doing alright. Thanks. I just, yeah, my day's just been doing shit in movie. So, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one, Cotton. But at that point, though, you could literally just move, like, any trigger. You could even move a Hans trigger, like, onto, like, the road, and then, like, Hans grabs you, like, you know? But I, I think, ideally, if you just had a full-on Hans disable, you would just drop down from the beginning. So we can, we can try and figure out, like, how fast it actually, like, how fast you can actually do Rock Slide. Because then, it'll determine if we can do it in no pause storage based off of how long it takes to set up. Of course, it'll be compared to guess jumps. Compared to no guess jumps, I'm sure it'd be faster. But I'm not sure about guess jumps. Although, if it only lost, like, two seconds or something over Pivot Gestums and it was really easy, then yeah, I would definitely switch routes. I don't give a fuck at that point. Yeah, disabling most triggers would do something. Because, like, the, the hand triggers are massive. But we, do, we don't know if, like, that actually is something the bull storage can do. Which is annoying. Nice, iPi. Now, can you shrend me the sh... I don't know, I'm just starting everything with, with sh... Anyway, can you send me the files so that I can... Thank you. One-handed. That sounds like it'd be pretty hard. Wouldn't it be hard to cruise boost with one hand? Well, either way, good luck on your endeavors. I mean, it's bound to be possible one-handed. I think it's it just a thing of, like, how long would it take, I guess? Yeah, one-handed cruise boosting sounds really bad. <laughs> I haven't tried it myself, though. I would imagine that some spatulas you'd avoid, like, the plague as well, like Squid's Dream. Lena sent me a gif of a cat, and the caption is, This cat is doing H. What does that even mean?
there's a fucking fly. Is it gone? I think it's gone. You do Squid's Dream, bruh. I wouldn't do fucking Squid's Dream. It's crazy, bro. Sub hour D pads only. That has literally never happened to anyone before, and I can absolutely guarantee you that. I can actually promise you that that's never happened to anyone, ever. Like, fucking out game. Sorry for wanting to talk to my fucking chat. This run is dead, by the way. I'm not continuing this. That happened because it was a fly in my room. And that happened because I had the windows open. And I had the windows open because I'm in the attic. And because, um, we don't have air conditioning, because I live in the UK, therefore I lost my run because I don't live in America. Welcome. Thank you, iPi. I will... continue to download. How is it only, like, 190 kilobytes? Oh wait, did you give me a... Oh wait, no, I can probably just edit my own SBI and I. Is that what it's it called? Yeah, I think it is. Uh. Oh wait, iPi, you still here? Did you have a star on specifically the time challenge? Because that's what we would need to know. All right, cool. Thank you. VMS. How about you, VMDs nuts? A manager is always prepared. Boing. Anyway, if you're already doing stuff like that, then I guess it'll be pretty hard to save 10 minutes. There's more examples like that, Cotton. Before in Weenie, I literally, my patty had so much hide that I drove over the lap 3 key, which is on, literally only possible on PAL 360, and it, the run would have been world record. This was back in 2019, but like, I, not even factoring the slower driving, just the fact that I got more height in itself, like, completely killed it. Howdy, I, uh, Fireball, how's it going? What's a kilo second? BC speedrunning is cool if you're a European, but like European speed game. Uh, I mean, not, uh, PC speed games, a lot of them are just not good, in my opinion. The, the best speed games are on console, on versions where PAL can not fairly compete. Speedrunning is, is naturally toxic to non-Americans, and I guess, like... Some other regions as well, but, like, mo yeah, it's basically to the Europeans, like, speedrunning is to naturally toxic to Europeans. Because all the good options are a pain in the ass and cost a lot of money. Speedrunning is why we left the EU. 
No, I think we left the EU because, um... Independence or whatever. And then we changed, like, nearly none of the rules. And we just copied everything from, like, the European... From the EU fucking... Laws. We, we've barely changed any laws. Like, barely any of them are any different. The, the most notable thing that we did was, uh, axe the tampon tax. SpongeBob. But because of inflation, because of Brexit, you should have just taken the L on the tampons. Now you gotta pay more for everything ever except for the tampons. So, effectively, it's like the equivalent of if, if, if tampons, like, fucking, like, Quadrupled or more in price. Like a boss. PC speedrunning le bad. Most mostly, not entirely mostly though. Ryan your heart out with Borum Clipped. That, that special is really fast. They're becoming sentient. I did watch a little bit of it before, and they were talking about, like, communism. They did bring up speedrunning at one point. But I lost interest in it pretty quickly. If you indulge in the AI stuff, like... You are aiding to the progression of AI and like the voices being perfected and stuff. That's the thing. Nah, it's also bad if there's like lag strats or like FPS strats and stuff. Or if the game is demanding to run so it's hard to record it on OBS. But that's quite rare. I was thinking about why my balls are so big. W. Speaking of cancer, I think uh, in Japan there's been some, like, big breakthrough with, like, some cancer research thing, and now everybody's making jokes about how they're going to die from suicide in the next, like, three weeks. And not wrong. To a slide. I, I do really like that. Rue. Like <laughs> if I find uh, guitar early, I think I'll get assassinated by the government. There's people outside. I guess I have to close the windows now. Like a boss. I don't even have time to until, like, BBBH. Actually, I might be able to in Reb 1. That is true, Carden. 
fucking it, it it creates the equivalent uh, like you know in the second um in the second movie when um everyone just goes crazy basically that would be that'll be the world the guitar early Wireless controller double who? The Cotton wouldn't want, wouldn't want to hear that, I imagine, about wireless controller W's. There's wires in my wireless mouse. Which reminds me, I should probably charge it in like a day or two, but you know I'm gonna forget. Do you know? Luckily, I don't like need the mouse on stream, but still. Yeah, no. Yeah, but I can hear it, and they can hear me. Like a boss, like a boss. Nah, well, like I said before, I had a controller that stopped working because the wires inside died before the actual buttons. And they're more expensive. So I'd be, get, I'd be paying more for for less lifespan and more wires, like, fucking across my feet and shit. So, no. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Did you see Hyperkin are gonna make 360 controllers? I don't know how good they're gonna be, but yeah, they're wireless. So, uh, yeah. I wonder if they'll be any good. I kinda wanna try one, but... Wireless is not bad, bro. I have rechargeable batteries. Cotton's probably the type of guy that wants a wired Wii remote. Material. What's what? Why do we? Okay, people always. There are so many people who say bad things about the 360 controller, but they never say why it's bad. And you're the first person to say why it's bad outside of the D-pad, and I do, don't even comprehend the reason that you're giving anyway. So I think 360 haters are just like don't think they have the brain cells, bro.
Yeah. What I really don't understand is people who like OG controllers. Uh, because, like... Unless your hands are, like, pretty big, I guess. Shrimply don't clean it. Okay, yeah, my, my 360 control is dirty, but that's why you get a black one. And then you can't even see it uh, the dirt anymore. Oh, I can't be asked to clean mine every session. I actually cannot be fucked for that, but yeah. I was thinking of switching to a Series X controller before, but I decided not to because I much prefer the 360 sticks. From my experience, it takes a hell of a lot longer than 20 seconds to thoroughly clean it. I... my only yellowed controller is a, uh... Is my Japanese white GameCube controller. It, it was, I bought it brand new, and now it's yellowed, and I don't know how, but it just is yellowed. I mean, even then, I just don't... Uh, there are some places where you just can't clean it without, like, a toothpick either, and then you might as well thoroughly clean it at that point. Yeah, again, Leaner, I like it, but I need my 360 sticks. For real. And again, the Y would be, like, sitting on my, like, leg, and I just don't want to deal with that. I wonder what the temperature is right now. Lena, can you check what the temperature is in Cardiff, Brev? Stewie, like, never sits on laps, but he, he sat on my lap a few times in 2022. I already do have tissues to clean my PC and stuff. I had to, I opened it up recently and cleaned it. And to clean my controller and to wipe like dust off of the desk. Twenty one. Hmm, that's cringe. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Just type 21 C and F and then find out. Dude, oh my god. I don't want to go back to fucking no cheese. We're in that middle part of the stream again where you just don't get runs going. Seventy Fahrenheit. The edge.
Yeah, well, Cotton, we live in a country that, uh, is supposed to be very cold all the time, and then global warming happened like a mouse. And, you know, no AC, the houses trap heat, etc. It's not 21 in this fucking room, it's like fucking, like, 26, probably. And then I, obviously then, there's, uh, you know, the spiders and stuff. Do you want to live in this attic in September? Because I don't, but I'll do it anyway. Dude, I'm gonna have, like, every other stream in September interrupted by spiders. I might even, like, just purposely take more time off in September. My parents want to go on vacation in September, and I unironically asked them not to, because the number of spiders that'll be in my fucking attic, if you don't do anything about them for a week, it'll become uninhabitable. You can't fucking li you can't be in the room anymore. They'll be- they'll literally, after a week? Th th that- that's- that'd be like ten spiders. That'd literally be like ten- ten massive spiders in there, breeding. It's fucked. Like, it literally- like, it's absolutely fucked at that point. Spiders are not W. It, it, if, a, if some genie were like, Oh, I won't do anything for you unless you... The only wish I'll allow is to kill every single spider on the entire planet to make spiders as a whole extinct right this very second. Do you want to do that, yes or no? I would easily say yes. I wouldn't even fucking think about it. Last year, Cotton, I saw, like, 20, which is lower than it was in 2021. I normally see two big ones, and then September hits, and then I, uh, last year I saw 18 in September, and then I don't see any for the rest of the year generally, and then I see a big one in January or February, normally. And, I don't think I talked about it, but there was a big one in Jam's room. And, um, there's about one big one. Okay, so, again, with the, with the spider thing, right? So far, with me living in this attic, the least number of big spiders that I've seen so far is 18 in September. Like, like that was the least, right? Jam's room in September, right? 2022, no spiders. 2021, one spider. 2020, like, one spider. And if we're talking about the entire year, right? In 2022, there was one spider in Jam's room, and there was 20 in the attic. There are 20 times as many spiders in the attic as there is in Jam's room, and I can't camp in Jam's room because then I'm too loud. My parents. And also, whenever there are spiders in Jam's room, they're literally always really big. Every time, which is a little, you know. Imagine when climbing up the fucking desk while I'm speedrunning, but still, like. And then, uh, I'd have nowhere to put my setup on my massive TV or anything. Like, it just can't work. Like, it just, like, I. It would take, like, hours of work and a whole month of not playing on, uh, watching my TV or playing on those consoles. Just so I'm not sexually harassed by spiders, like, twice a day. I'd kill the run. No spiders are cute. Literally, they're only cute if they're like one day old. Bring up two. And even then, I hate it, but I should be in this attic. Because, if I didn't go in there for an entire month, it would just be infested with spiders. So, I need to be in here to see the spiders to get rid of them. So, I need to be in here. I, w I would just do trips, I, I would do like five trips up to the attic every stream or something to check on the spiders. Welcome. Oh, and I would, I would literally, I would literally kill myself. Like, I'm not even making, I would literally kill myself if I was in a room with that thing and there was no exit to the door. Yep. 
just another day in the life of it's fucking day. huge. Would it, like, 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 think of some sort of thing that you don't like, and then just imagine like a very big version of it compared to what you're used to. Like, welcome. Like, let's say you had a fear of needles, right? And then, um, I was like, oh, look at this needle, it's so epic and based, and then it's literally, like, three times bigger than any needle that's ever entered your body, and it's going, like, into your fucking veins in the least squishy, fleshy parts possible, so that it hurts as much as possible, and you can feel it sucking the fucking liquid out of you. Sixteen foot gay. What? Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another Least game. threatening. Manager. Tarantulas are fucking dangerous. What the fuck do you mean? Boing. It's a short slide from manager to well, not manager. Oh. Ah. Ah. Welcome. Still though. Why why would why did you make the side the height of the person like five foot like four or something? Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. I don't think the average gay is five foot four. It's a short slide from manager to well, not manager. Manager coming through. Five foot seven. This is a job for a manager. This is a job for a manager. You're being, you're being cringe to me. I can ban you from a chat. I could ban you, my chat. Welcome. Also, I only just realized that I said sucking the life out of it, uh, yeah, sucking liquid out of you. I said that like two minutes ago and no one said anything somehow to that. Okay, clicks, thank you for the, for the, for the good luck. I got a 101 today, and this is a throwing through time save that's not very hard or anything, so that's good. Two, I mean, one fly is getting easier and easier as my consistency goes up, and um, we have found a consistent way to get the dentist frames. Uh, they were they were a huge pain in the ass to the extent where you could never expect to get either of them in the run, like on average. But now might actually be able to get it to the point where like I can realistically get one of them, and that'd be a huge that that would actually be huge. One flat will absolutely happen, just who knows when. I've already been on, like, OX pace, going into guess 2, like, a couple times. And now the two-second time save from throwing fruit, and then, like, uh, potentially even Dennis. Like that. Yeah. I'm a big fan of, uh... A manager is always prepared. Yes. Well, 
it was never consistent before, Carden. But now that this uh, knowledge has been unlocked, it's now mentally easier. So it is effectively a new thing. People weren't adopting it originally. Dang. A trick is harder when you don't understand it. I am a silly, dummy, little cat girl. What's that meme where it's like, no, you're not a bottom, you're 14, and you haven't done your math homework or something? <laughs> the knowledge that it's a one frame, and therefore the most consistent way, and that the confirmation that the input is a frame after skipping the cutscene... Now we have the knowledge that the objectively best thing that you can do is start an A. Or A and then start. Again, when you actually know what you're dealing with, it automatically makes tricks easier. Like like the three meter example I gave earlier. People thought it was like the hardest thing ever, and then we found out it was two frames and everybody's consistency automatically jumped up. Everybody was getting it more often who was doing it. Because just the knowledge that it's no way, it, that's just like not what you thought it was. Just knowing for a fact exactly how it works just makes you better at the trick. Okay, Cotton, we thought it was a fucking two frame, so I thought it'd be fine to mash. Of course, if I thought it was a two frame, it'd be fine to mash. Right? But now I know the mashing is ter is terrible, and timing is better, objectively. Unless you're, like, the world's fastest masher or something. SpongeBob. Somebody made a joke on Discord that they were, like, it was like, I'm turning 12 soon or something, and the Discord account got suspended. <laughs> I right, speaking of that type of thing, Twitter, if you lied about your age and then when you turn old enough to go on the website, change it to, um... What's it called? Um... I swear to God, I just felt something on the back of my neck. I swear to god, there's something on the back of my neck. Is there something on the back of my neck? No, I'm talking like spider size. Also, I mean, yeah, clicks, you're in university, so I mean... Yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Um... Oh yeah, if you lied about your age and then change it after you turn 13, Twitter, like, detects that and fucking suspends you. Fucking knock. Website. The girl virus, feeling a spider up potentially on the back of my neck. I have PTSD from spiders, it's not funny, bruv. Yeah, I lied about my age on PayPal, and now I could potentially get fucked. I tried to make- I tried to make a new PayPal account, right? I- I tried to make, um, a PayPal. However, like, it kept- like, I couldn't make one because it wanted to know, like, what type of biz- I- Okay. 
basically, I can't make it a business account without lying. And then if they catch me anyway, then what was the point of making an account? But I need to make it a business account. Because otherwise, if you send me PayPal, it'll tell- uh, a, a donation through PayPal, it'll tell you my full name. So, I- I need to use a business account, but I can't use a business account, because the only way it'll let me use one is if I fucking lie, and if they catch me lying, then there's no point in making a fucking new account in the first place. Like, I don't want to dox myself. Let me use your fucking service. You know? Oh, that's a headache waiting to happen. Too for me. Own an actual company. Wow, why didn't I think of that? Did you ever see those articles about, like, how I went from poor to rich or whatever, and then there's always mention of their parents giving them a fucking massive loan and paying off the house and all that shit? Ugh. Or it's like, I just shrimply started a business, and it's like, the longer you take to start up a business, the less unique ideas there are. It would it would have been way easier for you than it would be for somebody to do it right now and make a business. You need, you need to make something, some sort of service in some capacity that somehow doesn't exist yet, at least affordably or whatever. And yet, it is still something that everybody wants and just doesn't realize it. And then, and then you need a lot of luck and investments on your side. Like, wow, that sounds really easy. People would probably call me fat, but... but what, what those people don't understand is that, like, it, when I'm eating, it's just automatically healthier than it would be in America, so I'm just not eating... Like, the food I'm eating is just not as bad for me as, like, they perceive it. I don't know, Khan. I can't remember. Either way, I'm pretty sure I had to lie to make a thingy so I didn't bother. So yeah, I have to use PayPal, even though if I ever became a big streamer, I can't verify my, my age or whatever with ID because I fucking lied, which means that PayPal would shut my account down. So I don't know what to do. So I can uh, also the reason why that matters. PayPal only lets you hold like twenty five hundred dollars or something. Um, uh, and before you verify your account. Cat girl movie world record holder. There's there has never been a cat girl having movie world record in the game's history. Rest assured. I like how I said I could actually like get into BBBH with the best possible time at 59, but like all the runs since then have been bad. No, I don't. I don't associate with cats and cat people. We need to stop the invasion before it's too late. Oh, so I think iPie bailed on me.
I asked iPi if he could like start the rock slide in right in the time challenge, and he said he'd do it, and then he fucked off after that. You have to get I have to ban him from my chat, bro. I'm sorry for doubting you, iPi. However, it's not my fault I doubted you. It's everyone else's fault. Because they always doubt me, and then it rubbed off on me, and then I doubted you. So, blame everyone else. Okay, Cotton, I... I you say that. I am I always have to do everything with Spongebob movie. Uh, no other fucker will do anything most of the time. So yeah, no shit, I want people to do things in movie, so that I'm not the only fucking person doing stuff. Press R to die, that's kinda burst. Poland mentioned. When? Wow. No idea what that means, Lena, but, you know. Um, actually, my... Is, does my rule say English only? Wow, you're so getting banned. Guys, this is your last warning. No memes in hashtag general. <laughs> the, the English only thing is just so, like, people can meme around and, you know, stuff with the languages, but I just, you know, if you have that, then you can't be blamed if somebody comes into your chat speaking a different language and you don't know what they're saying, you know. It would be really, really cool to just, like, speak a different language, but, I mean, I've already been on about, like, a tangent about that before. How oh, it's too much time, too much effort, like, what's the point if I don't actually move to a different country, then, you know, etc. I should spend my time elsewhere. Yeah. Up even in the I... Dude, go! Oh my god. Can I even make the standard cycle? Wow, I still made it early. Jesus, actual baby cycle. And I, w I literally went too fast. I went too fast for the standard cycle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, that makes sense, bro. I made it early, despite making, like, fucking four seconds of mistakes, and I still, like, was too early for the cycle. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't- I usually reset if I miss it. If I miss the fast cycle. I only was- I mean, I was just gonna try and see if I got rubbered up to, uh, one frames. That's all I was, like... Because if I got them, I wouldn't have reset. Assuming I also got the, uh, BBBH thing, uh, Spongebob 2 frame. Coming 
manager is always prepared. Fuck. I hate skip and split. It's cringe. Hey. I keep looking over to where the spider was yesterday. I can't help it. Been doing it all day. In September, I'm gonna take my CRT off of the desk because um, it blocks so much view. I remember one of the runs, I I got 100% world record, or it might have been all tokens as one of the two. And then, like, 10 seconds after the run ended or something, I looked to the right and a spider came from, like, be from behind the, the, the CRT, so... Is blocking is blocking the entire door where spiders most likely uh, most likely to hang around. So I actually like should really remove it in September, like a boss. British terminology and spellings only in it, brev. Well, like, I mean, it depends on what part of the country you're from, like what sort of things you say. If you're, like, really posh, you'll say some gay shit, like, fucking. Oh, bother. It's, a, it's like the equivalent of, oh, fiddlesticks. If you're from where I'm from, you just go, fucking hell. How the fuck did that ledge grab? Oh my... How's the weather? I just realized the hoover's still up here from when we got the spider. Yeah, that's fucking creepy. The spider's still like in like the hoover thing. Probably moving around and shit. Creepy. Welcome. These what, sir? Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. He's robot nuts. Yep. Also, I'm, I'm probably going to play more PvZ. To the end of this, I'm a little stuck again. I thought I didn't make that. Okay, Cotton. It was around a bunch of fucking boxes. What else was I supposed to do? Welcome. Um... There's one in ancient Egypt where you can't let the zombies trample the flowers and the flowers are like at the fucking front of the fucking lawn. So they're going to- I haven't even- I haven't tried it, granted, but like you did like- Okay, they're not like literally right at the front, but they're closer to the front than the back. How the fuck are you supposed to do that? That's bullshit. I think it's in ancient Egypt. It might be in Pyra, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. All extras. Is next to what am I stuck on in ancient Egypt, then? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, and in Wild West... I... Oh, I know, Spider happened, so I think I stopped playing after that. Oh, I know, I, I got one where, um...
I, I got one where, like, the first, like, two rows entirely are just cock blocks or sunflowers that need to be planted further forward, so I didn't bother with that one either. I do like that I have three worlds that I can choose from, so that when I struggle with one, I can go to another one, but... What usually happens is that, like, I don't like the look of, like, all of them, so I just do the one that's least bad. I beat it on my first try because it's not as bad as I think it is, and then just so on like that. Or I, like... I also haven't failed a level more than once, which is nice. Anyway, hello, Arkham. How are you doing today? I think you for good luck. Yeah, Cotton, like, it's just fucking stupid because, like, you got... Like... The the barrels the barrels can break and spawn imps and then the imps trample the flowers and shit like that. They want me much to do, bro. So I need high damage output like quickly, but I can't use the punchy guys because they're too like close range. So I need like I need snow pee like that much is obvious, but then I'm not sure where to go after that. The new Spider Man movie. That's cool. I guess if you remember, let me know how it goes when you come in here next time. Because I have had some curiosities about the movie. Some of the, the card and now is it more optimal to do that? Oh. Thank you, iPie. I will build the ISO in the middle of the stream because I'm fucking girl boss. Like a girl boss. Oh, you're on vacation right now? That's cool. Also, I mean, yeah, if you want to do that, that'd be cool. Um, It's really hard to, like, splice in this game, so you might need to do, like, jank splices or whatever, but... Eh. No, Khan, you told me that, like, twice. Also... Th then the flowers are further away from the zombies, so it effectively, technically, slightly lowers the damage output. And if the zombies eat the eat the plants, or if they eat the sunflowers, then you can't generate more sun to build more flowers to build your defense. You can't stall as easily. Oh my god, I fucking hate sandwich driving so much. Uh, okay. I should check, uh... Speaking of emulators, I'm gonna check Zemu's... ...catability. Nah, no games have been added to the list of Pacific em emulation. I was hoping to see movie bits. Also, when you say damage list, does that, like, are you, like, what about, like, Hans? Okay. I was just uh wondering, but yeah. I would I would definitely like to see the segmented run.
I mean, I guess cotton, but like... If they eat the sunflowers, then you have no more sun. Okay, here's another case where... Okay, okay. You know the dynamite zombies that go behind your defense? You would rather them eat the sunflowers uh, that are at the back... Because then, you still have your offense going for another, like, 10-20 seconds while the fucking dynamite zombie makes it to your plants. And so your plants can still keep attacking, so you just don't get incredibly overwhelmed super quickly. And, right, then, when he eats the sunflower and walks past it, you can just place another plant there, if, uh, another sunflower immediately, because they're cheap. And even if you wanted to get rid of the dynamite zombie ASAP, you could you could place a plant a, a plant there if you really wanted to, like an attacking plant, Thanks. just really quickly. So checkmate atheists. God damn it! If the dynamite zombie goes to the back, goes to your lawn. And he's eating from behind. You'd rather him eat the sunflowers because then your offensive plant is still shooting zombies in that lane, while the dynamite zombie is, is busy eating plants that you don't immediately need. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Um, doing the combat's damage less fast is like absurdly hard. Also, a lot of the sliding and driving levels is pretty easy to not get hurt, so I'd probably just say... I, I would just say NMG. Rather than Hundo, in my opinion. It would also make it a more interesting watch. Those additional tokens aren't exactly that interesting overall. Hey. Uh, I'd like to wake up now. What if, what if it's not enough to kill the, the dynamite zombie? Yeah, but putting spike weed at the back of your thing is kind of a waste. At that point, you might as well have split pee. Bro said my brother in Christ, point and laugh at the white guy. I'm sorry, that was mean. Anyway, yeah, I mean, but still. I mean, do you really want to play spike weeds at the back of your fucking lawn? I didn't get Mindy still, did I? I wasn't paying attention. I don't think it did. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be building the ISO. And I forgot. SpongeBob.
I mean, I can try putting the plants in column one, but I don't think I'd be too happy about it, bro. I mean, I'll give it a go, I suppose. Hello, Zoe. How are you doing today? On this magical Saturday. Which means that One Piece is gonna come out at like 2 a.m. I am so going to watch that at 2 a.m. Saturdays are great because I have Chippy Saturday and then, uh... And then, like... Uh, like 13 hours later or something to get to watch One Piece at, at like 2 a.m. on the Sunday, so that's basically Saturday still. Why is there a read me? Oh. Ah! Oh. It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. <laughs> ah! It should have been me, oh. not him. It's not fair. Um. It should have been me. I'm so tired that I can make it across this. It should have been me, not him. Okay, well. It's not fair. Zoe, thank you very, very, very much for the eight gifted been subs. Me, uh, not him. Means a lot. Thank you. It's not fair. Um. I guess that means I have to do battle rando. Uh, it should have been me, not him. Oh boy. It's not fair. And now for the 90th time in a row, I don't know what to make my next sub goal. Uh, it should have been me, not him. It's not fair. Uh, it should have been me, not him. It's movie rando. I guess, but movie rando apparently freaks out a lot and stuff. It's... Okay, well, now I- yeah, I owe like 17 sub goals now, I think. I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Ugh. But yeah, thank you very much, Zoe. South Park has like nothing to do with me though is the thing. Like my stream. It's gotta be it's gotta make like some amount of sense. Like the the most like nonsense thing I have on my in my sub goal list is probably some fairly odd parents game. But like at least that's like Nickelodeon, you know. Alright, Koopa, I will be happy to Patiently wait. I don't know when I would do it anyway. Just, yeah. I, I have a sub goal to play movie casually anyway, but I was planning on leaving that until like later in the year. So, so here's what I wanted to do, right? I wanted to rehydrate it on the 23rd of this month. Then I wanted to do movie uh, in like November or something. I'll probably do BFB Rando in, like, August or something then, so that it's separated from those two.
I guess the next one should be movie rando, huh? I probably wouldn't make it 100% though. I'd probably make it NMG. Does the randomizer work on Xbox? Cosmic damage list would probably be a pain in the ass. Also, people don't care about Cosmic anymore. That game fell off. Which is a shame, because I actually quite like the game. But, like, no... I think most people forget it exists. Oh, God. BFB makes damage less. Mmm... That would probably be pretty hard. I found one more. Oh yeah, I have a sub goal to play Movie Blitz, but it's not out yet. I can't do that one. Maybe I could give movie damage this another go, but I mean you saw how fucking bad it went last time. What would be what would change between then and now? I guess like rubber dub would be a little better because I could just do rubber dub skip and then react if I'm about to get grabbed by Hans. I guess. Bro. Bro, bro. I've played Second Strike. I played it on stream a few weeks ago. Uh, I 100%ed it. It took me 14 hours and something minutes. Like 14 hours 20 or something. Um. Okay, I wouldn't really mind doing BFU mixed damage loss. But my thing is, like, would people care about that? As much as BFB damage loss because it's a hack. I think that would be, you know. Uh, it only has like 400 views or something. I would I wouldn't make the BFB mix one like a video. I just meant like how much would people care for it in terms of my Twitch stats specifically. Also, Robo Sponge would be actually horrible. That shit would seriously be horrible. That'd be a fucking nightmare. As a matter of fact. I'm pretty sure during one of the transitions, I'm pretty sure the game forces you to get grabbed by Hans, if I remember correctly. And, but the annoying thing is that, that is technically preventable by uh, doing a trick, but the trick is fucking hard and easy to mess up. So I, be but because it is physically possible to avoid getting grabbed, I have to do it. And I don't want to do it. It, it, it would basically, like... Nah, it's like hitting Plankton early with, like, a cruise boost. But the issue is that, like, the, the floor is, like, changing. It's like when uh, those damaged floor tiles from, like, Mermelet. It's like that type of thing. A lot of the levels have. Or, like, there's enemies that might try and target me while I'm, like, trying to do that shit. And it's just, you know... I would have to practice it, like, off-stream or something, just even, you know. Movie. Alright, I'm gonna make the ISO for the rock slide thing. 
Also, the, again, there was, like, no way the Rock Slide 2 with Hans Disable would save time and no pull of storage because Gask... My fastest ever Gask is, like, a low 104 or something. So, yeah, not getting that Rock Slide. But, you know, it'll just be a thing of seeing if it's better than using, uh, if you're not doing guest jumps. It's also without factoring menuing, because, like, yeah. And assuming that the Hans disable setup would be zero seconds, which would definitely not be the case. I forgot where I was going for a sec. Maybe Cotton. BFB damage list, though, still took me like three streams or two. I think it took two, right? Didn't it take two? I can't remember. It was either two or three. <laughs> BFB mix. Mm, I don't know how long it would take. No, nobody's really test movie. Um, you can't do lag stuff, and, like, it's just not as interesting to play on to drone game. And the loads are horribly slow. Yeah, so I, I think BFB Mix would take fucking ages, then. Because it is harder. I think it would take- t I, I think it would take at least two streams if I'm lucky. There isn't- there's also not as much of an incentive to go for it anymore, because there's no longer a $50 bounty. I'm pretty sure it's 70. I think immediately, I think I would avoid Sandy's dream. At least, like, the one we fight all the enemies at the end. I think Sandy's dream would be a pain in the ass. Um... Isn't there a CCA for Larry? What does Larry do specifically? I can't remember. Also, of course I missed that. Yeah. Root open. Welcome. Ah, uh, like a few weeks ago. Never fear, good citizen. Yeah, JF Larry Cotton. Isn't that just for like? Isn't it just basically just half of like defeating King Jellyfish is is getting that spatula? Yeah, my playthrough is only like 40 minutes or 30 something, I don't know, something like that. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. A manager is always prepared. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Oh, it's the time challenge, yeah. But if if I'm doing King Jellyfish anyway, there's no point in doing CCA for that, I, I think. 
Roblox movie is kind of cool. It just, uh, it's a shame that it's, like, zombified now. Because it is actually, like, conceptually cool. It was also nice to play it after playing fucking Atlantis. Me when I'm building an ISO in the middle of stream, like a boss. Movie, copy, root. Got everything. Everything. 40 billion auto scrollers. The game looks really like the models look really fucking bad. Most of the levels are very uninteresting. One of the best levels is literally like the very first one, which is not a good sign. Like, it's there's like almost no qualities about fucking Atlantis, honestly. Like. That is true, Khan. I did do that. And that was before Plank and, like, one other one came out. Speaking of... Wait, why did I say speaking of? Wait, what was I talking about? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's just a Neptune track that's left. Yeah. SpongeBob. I don't know, Cotton. Sub goal, I guess. Atlantis has, like, some cool, like, obtainable shit, as well as, like, a, a few little minigame things. I thought that was pretty cool. Um... But, like, yeah. Well, I haven't played any of the DS games on stream, whereas I've played a bunch of the GBA games. It was just like, you know, why not? You know? Also, I, I built the ISO. Thank you, iPi. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of my sub goals is Simpsons game because it did Simpsons hit and run. And then, like, the second most notable Simpsons game is probably Simpsons game. So, yeah. That'd probably take up an entire, uh, an entire stream. Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong, but still, like, don't. Um, I'm at that point again where I don't really want to finish another run because it's 9.22. Well, I mean, Simpsons game fixes, like, the massive repetition issue the Shah has, but... In my opinion, some of the levels go on for too long, and just the, the general gameplay IMO is less interesting. I still like the game. Well, I've, I've never played the 360 version, I've only played the PS2 version, but I do like the game. Um...
never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement. I'd be playing a 50 FPS though, which is kind of cringe. A manager is always prepared. A manager is always prepared. The reason why I stopped playing Toss DS is because of some stupid fucking jellyfishing minigame with, uh, against Patrick, and I lost it, and I was just like, dude, why is this mandatory? This is fucking stupid. I stop playing. If they're going to make mini games mandatory, I feel like it needs to be like easy. To, you know. Oh god, I just want to get past him. I don't want to get A rank, bro. <laughs> but yeah, toss DS. Next Shebgo Brev. I should do movie. I, I can do movie rando, but. It will be a bit scuffed. I would imagine. And again, I would just do NMG, probably. Well, I mean, if I'm playing on GameCube, I can't do Mindy Skip anyway, but yeah. Dude, this like, do you remember in the Family Guy video game when I was in uh, the porta party? Um, and there was like a big like Family Guy. The Family Guy game has like a few sections that actually like were really hard for me when I was younger. I I resorted to using a turbo controller that would spam start so I could like buffer the inputs. That is true. I don't know how strong the randomization should be. Uh, I agree, I think. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Cotton. I would need to look into the randomizer and shit anyway, like... I would literally just need to look into it. Same with BFB, but I assume I can do, like, the most extreme randomizations if I really want to. 
I probably wouldn't do, like, extreme texture randomization, because I feel like that'd get pretty boring after a while. I don't know. The end be more annoying to look at than anything else, I feel like. Job for a manager. Boing. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Cleanliness that is weird, Cotton. Maybe the new visions of IP were updated, like, in a way that just doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pulling some shit out of my ass, but, like. It's kind of like how, um. Something to do with, like, how... Like, like do, do you remember when, uh, Zemu, like, I, I complained that, like, the latest vision couldn't boot up movie? Or it might have been CXBX. Bro, 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 bro. If you wanted to, you can make it say Ligma if you really wanted to. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah, yep. this was like a couple years ago. Uh, I actually haven't been tracking CXBX's uh, hi um, history for the past while. Because Zemu is just clearly, at least back then, was clearly better than it. And I can't imagine that they've had some, like, massive breakthrough or anything. Zemu is going to be the one to get movie playing perfectly first. There's no way it won't be. Especially because one of the, um... One of the devs is literally in the BFB servers. <laughs> like... That is awesome, Cooper. Also, yeah, I've seen the yeah, sponge. Indeed, I have. Oh, well, I'd like to wake up now. I'm gonna do what I did last stream and do one liter one ETU attempt as a meme. Like a mouse. Welcome. I think people are just sexual and then just Gain this information, and I was just spewing it out. Sylveon, of course you did. Yep. Submythic, thank you for the good luck, I appreciate it. Okay, I'll do one ETU attempt past, like, no cheese, I guess. What's the current version of Industrial Park? Welcome. That's, uh, that's pretty, pretty nifty. If I needed to, I could downgrade, but maybe I wouldn't need to. I don't even know when I'm gonna be doing this. A manager is always prepared. Manager coming through. Golded. Thank you. 
Okay, then... Creek after this. I have notes, because, like, yeah. What the dog doing? Oh, no, it's butter dog. Butter dog. Dog with the butter on him. And then sandwich driving after the uh, after this, I believe. Yeah. Gold. <laughs> Not really mythic, because they apparently removed Trio, so now I'm just never playing the game again like a boss. Yeah, maybe Cotton. They added it back. Why did they add it back? Did they get backlash? Thank you, Lena. Oh, well, thank God. I mean, it was so fucking stupid. There are people who play on trios all the time. It never takes that long to get into a game in trios. Bullying companies is a good thing. It should always be advocated, bro. It only leads to good shit. I'll have to tell the bros in the hashtag group chat. Oculus. We're talking about Oculus earlier. Adam wants some sort of VR headset, probably an Oculus, to play Five Nights at Freddy's, bro. He's gonna put like 50 hours into it and never pick it up again. Oh my god, I fucking hate sandwich driving so much, man. Uh... Oh, now it works. Well, I'm done with ETU now. I gave it a chance. However, what I'm not done with is... Frogfish. I'll do one frogfish attempt as well. Why not, bro? Welcome. I was just about to say that you might as well buy a Steam Deck card until, until I realize you do have a Steam Deck. Which apparently means you made out of money. Bro's got a, a VR headset. Well, to be a VR headset. And a Steam Deck. Those cost more combined than a lot of people's fucking entire PC builds. Right? This, bro this guy is rich as fuck. Also, if this run actually gets somewhere, I'll probably do Weenie Out of Bounds. A trick that works, like, 7% of the time or some shit like that. And even when you do get it, you don't even save 6 seconds, you save like 2. Yeah, no, especially because I just lost a second and, yeah, 1.3. Definitely need to do Weenie Out of Bounds here, bro. Woof, stream ends. How is it not hard to get money? Well... Uh... 
Rare? What's that? Transemu. That most likely worked. Yeah, but I play movie for like... Well, well over a hundred hours a month. That's not easy money, like... Yeah, no, I've got nothing. I've seen videos on how to get rich, and somebody, and, like, the, the video was using literally not buying Starbucks as a fucking example, and it's actually like, well, yeah, no shit, if you don't buy the Starbucks, you'll have more money. But then you also hate life, because you're only just buying the cheapest shit possible. Like, great advice, dickhead. Okay, I split early, but that was a good depression still. SpongeBob. Dude, this run is actually schmoovin' right now. But it probably I'm I'm most likely gonna do weenie out of bounds. I mean, there are t there are too many food and drink options. You just name any way you like, and there's a massive group of people that would just say this place is fucking terrible. So I mean, you know. Not. Did you know that most OnlyFans creators make, like, no money? Anyway, shut up, Brev. I'm doing Sandwich Out of Bounds. And I think the text box is probably gonna get in the way while I fucking do it. Oh my god, this trick is being so cancerous right now. It's failed like four times in a row. Uh, dude, I fucking can't stand this trick. If there was one trick I could just delete from existence, it'd be this one, probably. Either that or Spew Boost, but I'd probably pick this one. Because at least with Spew Boost, I never have to actually expect myself to get it. Alright, I guess I'm doing fucking no pole storage. Lol, X lol. Of course it just works, just like immediately. It's... Oh. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't have the mental or physical energy for this shit. Life is depressing as fuck. It was just like, nobody wants to do shit. You know how I mentioned before that there was a big increase in like, Minecraft hardcore YouTubers who... And, like, they all have, like, the exact same editing style to the point where you can't even really tell the channels apart except for a slightly different voice. I found a channel like that, you know, and, and like, the gimmick is that they're really good building, really good at building, right? I found a guy 
who made the exact same content, exact same quality as all these big fucking YouTubers who do this shit. Exact same quality, seriously now. And he was editing his own thing instead of having editors. Um, uh, his most viewed video had 8K. Like this, like, no, the YouTube meta is actually fucking harsh as fuck. I really do mean it when I say the exact same, like, effort content. Exact same thing. Edited in the exact same way. Like, same sort of durations for videos and shit like that, you know? Same humor, just everything's exactly the fucking same. And their most viewed video got 8k and the least viewed was like 1k. Actually, no, it was like 800 actually. Like, what money are you getting from that? Yeah, Mr. Breast claims that, uh, there's no luck to it, and it's pure skill, which is some bullshit. I'm sure if you studied the- it to absolute death, I'm sure you could automatically, like, get somewhere. But acting like there's no luck involved in it whatsoever is just stupid. Dude. How am I supposed to pretend to want to run for the next, like, 30 minutes of the stream when I can't even get the strat? Yeah. Was that fair? Like, fair. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Um... Although, so, some games you immediately dismiss, but then somebody, like, actually plays the game for the first time ever, like, on YouTube, and then, like, it actually blows up. Because nobody thought to do it, and then one person does it, and it's, like, actually unique content. Doing something that hasn't been done before. Wow, just like starting a business, which we've already established is really hard in this, in this day and age, and it only gets harder as it goes on. Like a mouse. The one way that being a YouTuber has gone easier is that live streaming is more viable on YouTube than it used to be, which means, like, you might not necessarily have to make the transition to Twitch. I'm not even getting it very well, but whatever, dude. I just want to play the game now. Welcome. Yeah. I mean, there's more strategy to it than most people realize, I would imagine, but... There is still a luck element. Also, I don't even know if I'd want to be, like, as popular as I missed the Beast anyway, because... First of all, he probably gets recognized in public way too much. And second... I, I, I've heard him talk about his work schedule. He will work every single day, like, to the bone. And then, and then, literally, right, this is what he said in an interview. This is literally what he said, right? He said if he's desperate, he will take half a day off. And if it's, like, really, really, really bad, he'll take what, a full day off. But that's, like, super rare. So, bro probably takes, like, eight days off a year. <laughs> I 
And, you know, he flies places to do interviews and shit as well. And, you know, obviously making a lot of videos. He's planning things. He, he's in, in, responsible for a bunch of companies. Bro's gonna die in, like, ten years from stress. Yeah, exactly. It reminds me of, um... There are a lot of uploads on YouTube of, like, for example, Double H just playing some battle or movie hack with no commentary, no thumbnail. Hell, not even a good title. Not even a good title. And, like, mo the vast majority of his fucking videos do about as well as my edited, highly edited videos with the thumbnails and everything. I know that you just be like... Movie game iPie SpongeBob challenge, and you'll get like 1.4k. Also, to be as strategic as possible, you probably have to become a really annoying YouTuber who like shouts all the time and never swears or anything. I don't know if I want to be fake, bro. I feel like there aren't, like, I feel like there are less and less YouTubers that make, like, the thing that they really, really want to make, as opposed to making what will do the best, you know? Like, there are some exceptions. Um, Pyro he used to do those, like, daily videos, and then he made them bi-daily. But, th but now he uploads, like, once every, like, couple, like, two months to three months or something on average. Because his channel has gotten popular enough to the point where he can make really, really massive videos. Because even though he doesn't get as much money, he still gets compl a completely, like, re reasonable amount to the point where he doesn't need to worry. And can just make big boy videos. That being said, he hasn't uploaded it on the second channel for 50,000 years, so... Yeah. Dude, Scott the Waz, he uploaded a video about the Wii U... And it's part one, and it's- and part one's nearly two hours long. How is that even fucking possible? Literally, how is that possible, bro? Yeah. YouTube has been recommending me more smaller channel videos the past, like, year or two, which I do think is a good thing. But god, there are so many fucking channels that, like, actually... I found... I, I found a couple Poketubers that have only, like, a thousand or two thousand subs and are actually good. Like, good stuff. Uh, there was one recently, uh, they made a video talking about the, uh... You know, like, the- I forget what it's called, but you know, like, uh, in Gen 4, uh, in Diamond, Pill, and Platinum, when you get, like, the little, like, watch thing, and it has, like, little apps on it and stuff? You made a whole video talking about that stuff, which I thought was really cool. Also, I'm not accepting bad runs anymore, obviously, because, you know, it's nearly 10. I'd probably be streaming for another, like, 20 minutes or something, assuming I don't get a run going. I- 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 I have never done that in my life.
Yeah. I could probably go to YouTube, YouTube right now, and it'll probably... Let's see. I have a- there's a metal pipes meme in my recommender that has 800 views on my channel I've never heard of before. Um... A Plants vs. Zombies mod soundtrack uh, song, and that has 85 views. Yeah, I've been recommended videos before with like 20 views or less. It's kind of- is it is good on YouTube's end. The big channels are already big. Like, as long as they keep evolving the content, they'll never fall off. Like, you, you know, and he, it needs to be about broadcasting yourself, and because there's such an imbalance, they need to- they should be pushing these small channels. And that's what they're doing, so that's good. Um... Hey. I'll have to go through my YouTube recommended while also being based at movie. Oh. I'm even just getting recommended more videos with less views, you know. In the recommended before, you'd always get recommended stuff that had over like 100k or something. I've seen so many videos while scrolling down that are under 100k. Like, I see a video about Plants vs. Zombies plushies. And that has 12k views. Granted, it was uploaded quite recently, but still, like... That video is probably not getting 100k, you know? A video called Should Earthbound Be Remade, and it has 4.7k views. I, I, I've i never looked up Earthbound content, and I still got that amount recommended. Okay, I have a video. There's a video I recommended of, um... The worst McDonald's items according to Trump AI tier list, and... Trump is, like, actually wojacking right now. Like, really hard. Yeah, that's an unfortunate card. But still, you, you know, you can find... YouTube search system is better than it used to be, and that is great. That is really big. That's kind of funny. Although, that hasn't been a thing for a very, very long time. They patched that forever ago. Although, when it existed, it lasted full forever. 301 is such a specific number as well. Yeah. The problem with Mario bosses, although that one has 260k. Fucking hell, my most viewed video is the is the 10734, and that has like 40k. And I don't know why it has 40k, but it does. And then in terms of the edited videos, the one that's done the best is Heavy Iron's Best Times, which terrible video. And I should have waited longer to make it, but that one has like 7 to 8k, I believe. Mm. 
Do you remember the Riders DX uh, videos where it's just like, is BFUB rehydrated coming? And it was like three weeks before the, uh, three months before the release of the game. Like, what do you fucking think? Nah, they're gonna cancel it now. Like, what do you fucking think, bro? Like, like, what, the, what, like, what is even, the, that was the most, that, I didn't watch it, but that had to, at least based off the title, if the video really was about whether or not the game is coming out, that has to be one of the most pointless videos on the, enti in the entirety of YouTube history. Might as well have made that video the day before the game came out. I'm able to start runs like way faster than before, which is pretty boost. Welcome. See, look, full Animal Crossing soundtrack for five in the last five hours, right? One point six million views. Wow, thanks, Mr. Beast. Really helped me there, bro. It doesn't even have a good thumbnail either. Why is there a Plankton diss track in my recommended and it has 6,000 views? Yeah, I probably... Those people who ride the wave, like, they'll never, like, be consistently popular. That's kind of interesting, Cotton. Manager coming through. Like a boss. Nothing like a little man type stuff. Manager coming through. A manager is always prepared. Ugh. That cutscene took a suspicious amount of time to load. I think my game might be sussy, flushed face. I think it might be venting and electrical. Alright, well now that that runs dead, I can just pretend I never said that. Yeah, but I, I don't know why people don't... I don't know why people don't care about the game. It's legitimately good. And then you could say, well, then why haven't you played it since the sub goal? But, like, I, it's because I beat it, like, five times. Because I was enjoying it so much. I'm not still splicing. I never splice in the first place. Enough with the lies, brev. Nice. I would- I mean, aren't, aren't the- yeah, yeah, exactly. See, what is with that company and being obsessed with grinding? It's so goddamn annoying. They just can't con Okay, how did they not learn anything from Rehydrated? Even if they- even if they fucked up Rehydrated and didn't f actually fix the problem at hand with crabs. Okay. But they know why, you know, too expensive is a bad thing. How did they- okay. The, the the current amount for the costumes was only not too much if you were getting all the doubloons. Welcome. That was the only way it wasn't like enough. So it wasn't very it wasn't a big deal because like just get a few just get a few uh, doubloons and then you'll probably have enough. It, it's completely fine then. Why did they fucking increase the- like, now I can't afford the fucking costumes at all, bro. It's a short 
You'd have to like 100% the game, and even then, you still probably don't have enough, even for a fucking casual. Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, yeah, they they fucked it up with a patch, which means, in my opinion, current patch. Re uh, I, I was debating between whether or not I preferred uh, Cosmic Shake or Movie, right? But but the current patch is now worse than the used than the old one because the co because that is a that is just ridiculous. Like why would you do that? It's like such an objectively bad decision. So now it's not even a question for me anymore. I would definitely rank it below movie. Try not to make the 100% agony as well. E Why is every SpongeBob game, like, bad to 100%? Like, like, literally all of them, I think. Welcome. I don't think there's a single sponge uh, console SpongeBob game that isn't terrible to 100%. That's another thing as well, yeah. The company has to, like, spend money not only on the developers, but also just, um, updating the game on Steam anyway. They actually have to, like, pay money. They paid money to make the game worse. Like, like, actually. Yeah. And also, Cosmic Shake still has, like, a bunch of doubloons that require backtracking with no, like, actual skill to it. There's literally, like, three slam doubloons in, uh, Pyragoo Lagoon. There's literally three. Well, you have to get all the happiness objects and shit, but yeah, I think that one's, like, acceptable. I think you have to... Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. Wait, do you have to buy the costumes, or is that max percent? I don't remember. I don't know what counts as Hondo in that game. Okay. I don't know what's 100% then, and why it's different from all happiness objects. How much of a man do I have to be? Jumping, jumper, jumper. Always... Toss was a pretty alright experience. Do you remember I played Toss? It, was, it wasn't bad. <laughs> like a bouse, like a bouse, like a bouse. 
I might stop the stream if I miss Sandwich Out of Bounds again. I'm like surprisingly tired. And fatigued because, um, all I've done today was practice movie, reroute no major glitches really quick, and then take a shit and stream. God, I wanted to make a video tonight talking about NMG's route changes, but I honestly just might not bother us. <laughs> tonight. I think most games are worse to 100% than they are to just beat. Because you can avoid, like, the worst of, of the game a lot of the time. In movie, you can just barely avoid some terrible shit. Like, barely. Which means the game effectively has no token customization. It isn't really a thing of, like, collect at least 50 tokens for no- It's basically collect the same 50 tokens every time, even casually. I feel like, at least if if you know which ones like the w the best ones are to grab, because it's pretty objective. I feel like. Oh, I will be streaming that day. Well, like what time is it? Yeah. I'm Some games can give you a very different experience, depending on if it's Hundo or not. Like, for example, I would say that uh, with the Pokepock games, Pokepock 1 and 2, I would I would say that Pokepock uh, 1 is definitely worse to 100% than 2, because you have to complete all the minigames with, like, all the fucking friends that you make. So you gotta do every minigame, like, fucking 20 times. It's actually in insane. Dude, get on the thing. Dude. Here we go. Well, I want to go offline now because I'm dying of fatigue. And I need to highlight shit, and yes. So... Four EST. Yeah, no, cannot make that one, bruv. It'll probably be over by the time I stop streaming as well. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.